Alright guys, welcome to Dune Spice Wars. Today we're going to be playing the Atreides and uh, trying to figure them out. I feel like I have a very, very solid lock on how to play Harkonnens as well as the uh, Carino. So next up, we're going to be trying to figure out how to play politics, maybe play a little bit more friendly with everybody, use some non-aggression packs to keep people back and do all that sort of good stuff. Yes, yes, welcome. How you guys doing? So tomorrow we got some fun stuff on the horizon. Tomorrow we're going to have an Age of Empires 4 1v1 tournament, and then the day after that we will probably have a Total War tournament showcasing the uh, new patch. I uh, just wanted to give it a couple days to make sure there was no weird bugs or broken units or anything like that. Yes, yes, welcome. All right, so myself on the Atreides, Hadris on Ekaz, Davok on Smugglers, which in my opinion are the strongest faction of the game, and Warlord on Carino. All very strong factions, and these are very, very good players from our Discord as well. So this is going to be a... Very, very good test, to say the least. All right. Yeah, apparently Greece has like 400 movement speed. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> Dune, I know. Shai Hulud Bless. Game one, we're going to be playing Atreides, and uh, we might play them twice in a row. I'm going to try two different builds with them and see which one I like more. Jin dobre, Hope you're doing well, man. And yes, we are getting started. So two matches tonight. Atreides in at least the first one, and Fremen maybe in the second one as well. I've been really enjoying playing Fremen. Even though they have their weaknesses, riding around on the Sandworm and having these cool armies of Fideikin and all that stuff is very fun to do. Very, very fun. We'll see what we can do. Maybe I could surprise people and go with like a Trades, like kind of financial build, go for the big Chome. They don't really have anything that gives them like super good economic boosts. Like the Harkonnen get double spice, uh, you know, and, and the Emperor can double stack buildings in certain regions to get a ton of money. Atreides are definitely more politically focused. The notification started, yeah. Yeah, the, YouTube isn't always the best with notifications. It tries its best, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it certainly uh, struggles at times. So our main goal is to make sure we don't end up like uh, Duke Leto did in the movies. We don't want to get assassinated. You know, we don't want any of that. We don't want any betrayals, any backstabbing. And uh, we'll go from there. Good luck, good luck. Uh, all in. So if you guys are playing Dune, it's always a good idea to pause right away at the start of the game because people load in at different speeds. It's very strange. All right, so one, two, three. Yeah, it looks like we got everybody. All right, let's get this started. First things first, you always want to grab your spice field. So you want to go over here and just get this. Uh, if you don't get that, you're not going to be able to pay your first tax and you're going to suffer a pretty substantial penalty. Mr. Pigman, oh man, I haven't seen you in ages. Hope you're doing good, man. Good to, good to see you. All right, let's get a ranger in here as well and go take this. Any good village traits here? We do have an intel per statecraft building. Nah, the economy buildings producing 20% more is, is a good trade for that village. And look at that. We have the preserve the ruins. It's a pretty good one. Atreides have good eco boost since their last fight basically makes them... Oh, okay, got it. So Atreides have good eco boost, their last spice upgrade. It basically makes them... Understood, thank you for the uh, pro tips. Yeah, I don't really play Atreides. I'm learning them today. So if you guys have seasoned experience with them, I would love any tips and knowledge that you guys can bestow upon me here. But I'll do my best. I have decent game sense. I've been playing, you know, in Dune tournaments. And uh, we have another one starting soon, by the way. The last one was won by a Fremen player, which was very, very exciting. So cool to see that. We had like two underdog factions win our first true tournaments. Um, Harkonnens won the first one, and the second one was won by the Fremen, which are factions that people wouldn't really consider to be like, you know, super strong. Um, that's right. So we have Duncan Idaho, which gives us access to the siege right away. Oh, that's a god tier siege for us. We need to get that. Oh, yeah, baby. So let me explain why. All right. So we get that, and then we can drop a militia in there. Let's go ahead and get the tech. We can get the local community. And um, then we can do yes and yes. We'll just get like all the baseline upgrades. So the Atreides, they can't do any pillaging, but this is a god tier siege because it gives all our militia 50% more health. So our Atreides militia with the upgrade at the um, veteran militia are going to be like having over like 1300 HP or something. It's going to be nuts. But anyways, we go for Plaskery here. Yeah, Economic Atreides. Yeah, Duncan Idaho is one of my favorite um, counselors. Also, Lady Jessica, I think is just the go-to. She, she can like save you from just getting wrecked. Um, but you have to kind of build politically for her to be uh, functional. Gurney is good too, um, but the problem with Gurney is if you lose the army that you've like leveled up, like then he's just not that useful because he only really benefits leveled up units. Yeah, so something to take into account. All right, so we'll get Plaskrete going in this region. Uh, we got our first spice field coming out. Let's go ahead and get a militia in here. It's, we're not like Harkonnens where we need to have like militia to equate to production in villages, but yeah, that trait we get here on this um, yeah Herald to the Revolution, that is really, really good. That's one of the best traits you can get as Atreides. So 
Yeah, because Atreides are definitely like, hey, I'm governor of Dune, and let's survive three people attacking me. That's usually how the games go with the Atreides. All right, let's get another Ornithopter. I think three is like a good baseline for what you usually want in terms of counselors and stuff. Um, all right, so yeah, certainly going to be some political challengers. Let's go ahead and get this. We got the Spice Harvester, and while we have some downtime... Yeah, so the Atreides Foreman. Yeah, plus two crew to your harvesters. Okay, yeah, so they can definitely play a little bit of Chom. No, let's play Chom. Let's play Chom in politics. We'll be very relaxed on military, like very weak military, and try and use diplomacy to protect us. Certainly not the most clever idea, but, you know, we're trying fun things today. We're trying the fun things. All right, so in this region, let's go ahead and get another Plascrete building. Usually that's what you want to open up with, and we'll... Yeah, we can, like, go somewhere in the middle there. Atreides cannot um, pillage, though, which is pretty, pretty troll. A lot of factions can do that, and they can make a ton of money, but the Atreides cannot. And we do have this, so we're going to preserve that to uh, get the authority, which, yeah, I really, really need to get this region down here. And obviously getting a second spice field would be good as well. Dude, Geo, this game's really fun, man. It's really good. If, and if you're looking, the only issue with this game that I've run into is when I'm... If you're trying to play, like, public games with strangers, oftentimes you'll either get teamed up on or people will just leave the game early and basically ruin it. Um, but that's pretty much all those issues are solved if you have like a good community to play with. And our Discord, we have a really active Dune community. Um, considering the size of the game itself, like we have a lot of people who play every day. There's games being played. They'll stay the whole time. They're going to be good sports. It's uh, it's fun. So local dialect studies, Atreides sympathizers, and then we go straight to filtration systems after that. Atreides can also turbo build bases, which is rad. It's it's so it's so useful. All right, let's get you on Arrakis. And we can go ahead and grab this now to get the free tech. And uh, yeah, we're hanging in there. So it is a special region recruitment office. Uh, and this is going to be water production. And ooh, that's pretty good, actually. So we're going to grab this village next. It's 73 to get it. And we can preserve the runes to get the authority. Very nice. And maybe we're going to go for uh, eco trades here. This is a good village as well, too. This one gives us uh, has an abandoned imperial station, which lets you get very good, um, very good knowledge. All right. So up here, how we looking? We got our Plascrete in production per eco building. Oh, that's very nice. And we can go ahead and get a maintenance center probably here. So let's go ahead and snipe, snipe, and snipe. Gonna be a little bit lazy there. And here we can slap this down and get a maintenance center, which is gonna make everything cheaper nearby. Just got a micro back as we uh, take a little bit of damage here. So now we can go tag this guy in melee. All right, excellent. So far, so good. Yeah, the war. Well, the Warhammer. Um, so here's the thing. I'm going to be starting a new channel when uh, Warhammer: The Old World comes out, the tabletop game, and I'll be showcasing all my armies and minis on there. Um, of course, I'll make an announcement on this channel. If you're interested in that, we can uh, we can do it. <laughs> do it. All right. So that's a really nice special region there, and it looks like there's like a mountain pass kind of obstructing it a little bit. Yes, sir. All right. The Atreides troopers a little bit light on water. And sympathizers is very good. It gives you early influence, and you get five land rad standing for each. Um, level on the council. All right, so sympathizers is done. We'll go into urban planning, filtration systems, and then we punch through to get the, um, I guess it depends on how many spice fields we can find. Atreides can snipe, uh, snipe territories from far away using influence too. You can uh, do the peaceful annexation. It does take influence though, which you know is obviously valuable. All right, drop that and let's slap down a heavy militia here. Usually one heavy militia is enough to deal with like early raids and stuff. So yeah, let's hope it's fine. Urban planning, yeah, that's the one that lets you turbo build villages, which is great. Uh, over here, what do we have? A fuel cell factory, hegemony site, and we have recruitment office. This could be a spice field up here, for all we know. Uh, there's a... Can't wait to try this next week when this comes out. Oh, it's it's not out on console yet. Yeah, I, this game would be really, actually, pretty good for console, I think. Uh, we'll get... Yeah, this is the one that gives us for each economy building we have. So might want to just get, like, a free, like, little kind of injection of cash there. If this is a spice field, I'm going to be very, very pleased here. And if that's the case, then we would build a maintenance center right here and switch it up. All right, so we want to just put one point to that to get the lands rad, and then we're going to try and get the cheaper building. So we're just going to pump all of our boats into this, into infrastructure control, because uh, it makes it so you can just like spam your main base building super, super quickly. All right, so Atreides are here, and we're ready to party. All right, let's do that. We got the free tech, and there should be another one out in the desert. Um, yes, free military tech there. All right, so we're at 54 authority. Enough to take this region. We need to see what this is. Come on, be a spice field, please. Give me more spice. Let the spice flow. Not seeing too much spice around us right now. A couple of, oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go, let's get it. The blessed number, too, 69, to get that. 
So we need to make sure we win infrastructure control. Um, yeah, voting on this is nice to get that, but I think I'm gonna put all my votes into the infrastructure control. It's a really powerful one to get early, like very powerful. All right, two range units there should be a bit of an easy catch. And uh, after that, we get the Imperial Station and start getting some knowledge. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Dude, I'm so excited for the old world though. The rules have looked really good so far. All right, so um, yeah, let's get started. We're probably gonna, how do we wanna organize our regions? I'm probably go just start getting the knowledge and hegemony gains and we'll max out this to get the um, 100 max influence so we can pull enough influence to outvote multiple people. Because if we have a cap of influence, um, you know, it's gonna be hard to outvote people. So I think that's the right strategy. Could be wrong, but find out on today's episode of Dragon Ball Z. All right. So we got to make sure to keep voting here to make sure we get this. Do not want to lose that. Let's grab that spice field. Outstanding. We have another agent. Let's throw them in Arrakis. And uh, we're all good, man. No, it's not that far before. The old world um, takes place um, like only a couple hundred years before Warhammer, um, where Warhammer Total War is. So you're going to, all the elf characters will be around. Some of the dwarves like Cetra will probably be around. Um, it's the vampires will be around like characters. It's just mainly going to be humans. All right, so we did get the um, infrastructure control. So we could probably, can't. no, we'll just let that finish since it's already like done. But the cool part is we're gonna be able to immediately build a, uh, another base essentially. So we need to see who our neighbors are. Um, we don't see them yet. Hasn't gotten too crazy. Duncan Idaho's region down here. Um, yeah, we'll definitely remote annex that if we can. All right, so we got the free military tech. Let's just take the intel for now. Yeah. And, uh, ooh, actually, there's another free military tech there, which is great. Like, anytime we can get these free technologies on the battlefield, dude, it's just, it's super money. Yeah, it's like three to four hundred years. All right. So let's get that. This region has experience and production in the region. Let's go ahead and get a Plascrete building here. Why not? And then we'll get water there soon. Water is pretty short right now. And why are we taking a deficit here in uh, the, uh, oh, I thought that was fuel cells for a second. I was a little confused. Hey, welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you're doing good. We're going to have a fun week of uh, action for sure. So filtration systems, and then we probably get lay of the land after that to get the knowledge and, uh, you know, develop a little bit quicker. This is going to be 68 to grab. Yeah, I feel like with the tradies, there's a lot of, like, sitting around. You know, like, I I have, um, like, if I were playing Harkonnen, I would be, like, pillaging and moving across the map, you know, doing all that kind of nastiness. But here, um, Chome, we're not going to buy right away. Um, we want to use that money, so we see Hadri is actually buying instantly. We just want to get to 10% Chome down the road, which shouldn't you know, be too much of an issue. All right, so grabbing that from the deep desert, although our water supply is pretty rough, it looks like we're going to be able to get it. Infiltration systems will pop off here in a second, and we can immediately get uh, more buildings in our main region, which should be pretty good. All right, all right. Life's treating us well, man. So everything is developed. We are getting another spice harvester here. This is for sure where we want water. And outstanding, and yeah, that's right, our regions are cheaper right now to expand because of the uh, the fanciness. All right, so the main base building is finished. So next up, we want to get probably um, go for one of the early eco techs, so we'll do this one. Let's get you back onto the land of the living here, and we have a har harvester, let's deploy. And we could slap some manpower in there, but I don't think we need to at this point. All right, team. We're in good shape. We're going to get another main base building. Lay the land is a good one. It gives you knowledge. And then we can go down and get like all the um, political stuff. Although maybe rushing the Atreides foreman would be better. We have two spice fields. We can remote annex another one if we really want to. We, but I think getting that militia region, man, it's far down there too. Duncan did not give us like a good siege position, unfortunately. It's very far away from everybody. All right. And eventually the Atreides harvesters actually just like manually do that, which is really nice. All right. So we got water now. This region gives us 100% more water, which is awesome. The Crescent Ridge, so that will pretty much take care of our water needs with literally one building. Talk about useful, right? And uh, let's slap down another Plascrete building, which isn't the best for your eco. We could buy Chome, but I want to develop my main base. To me, that's a little bit more important. So let's go down here. We're going to grab this knowledge village, this manpower. Um, yeah, the research station. It's a, it's a good one. Although we could go for the spice field. It's 94. It's a little bit away from the base. Yeah, we'll just like kind of slowly push out. Um, yeah, so we see some fuel cell regions. The emperors to the east, to the west, um, it looks like it's smugglers. Yeah, smugglers are already spying on us right now. Lovely. And the player who's playing smugglers is very good. I mean, hey, Hadrius has made it to the tournament finals. Davok was like a runner up in the recent tournament as well. Like, we have this whole, this lobby is pretty stacked. Oh, we're running out of supplies here. Could lose this trooper. Come on, buddy. Get there. You can do it. All right. Great. So it looks like we're going to be grabbing that region. 
We got two fully operational spice fields. And uh, do we want to grab another trooper? Yes, probably not a bad idea. All right, so the main base building is going. Lay of the land is going to be there. We'll just keep slapping down as many buildings as we can while we're under the effect of the infrastructure control. Listening. And research station will be good, and our knowledge is going to jump up once this tech finishes. It's pretty potato right now. Our knowledge is, is quite bad. Uh, in this region, we can get water. Yeah. On duty. We have the plastic for it. Getting that early inf infrastructure control is just so incredibly valuable. All right, let's drop this. Ooh, while we still have that, we should build the special building too, if we can. Um, so let's go back here and slap this bad boy down, the Spacing Guild branch. Nice. So we got that cost reduced also. That's huge. That's really big, actually. All right, so let's, uh, we don't have enough for any militia, so it's going to be a little bit sketchy over here for a hot minute. We do have a... Um, do we have any free tech around us that we can grab? Not really. Oh, revealing a siege is always good. Um, Duncan Idaho gives you authority per allied siege. So it's pretty useful. Uh, all right, so lands rad standing. Um, spice exchange rate. On duty. I mean, I don't think they would vote. All faction suffer, so we're going to decline that um, with our free votes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're, we're pretty relaxed here. All right, we got lay of the land. So now let's just bum rush the, uh, the eco tech here. See if we can play a little bit of uh, economics. It should be fun. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I can rapid fire build buildings here. Oh, it's so nice. It's so incredibly good. We'll get that before the uh, building passes. And now we're going to have a fully fledged out region here. The insurance banks will be there. All right. So no raiding, no aggression yet. AoE 4 stream tomorrow. Yeah, you're not going to have to wait long. If you go to um, AoE 4 Tavern, you can see that we, uh, we have a tournament scheduled for uh, tomorrow, which is going to be super hyped. All right, 124 for that. And this is a really good region. It gives us double fuel cells, which for us could be pretty important, but we can't grab it for a while. God, I really want that siege down there. Okay, smugglers. Yeah, smugglers are extending their branches onto the middle of the map. Uh, do we have enough? We do. We have another agent now. Our recruit speed is not amazing. We're going to go spacing guild, although probably Landsrad is better right now. We don't really need manpower too much. All right, so Plasteel is going, and that building region is going to be pop-locked and ready to go. So we have that siege, and we have another siege over here. Ooh, a spice field too, and this one gives us what? Oh, four water for knowledge? Yeah, it's actually not a bad trade. So now we have 10 knowledge. Suddenly we're kind of respectable in the water, uh, in the knowledge game. 138 to annex that. Um, this spice field would be 107. It's getting a little bit close to the emperor, though, is my only concern. Um, as far as the spacing guild goes, I'm not sure how we want to play that. Let's go ahead and slap another one of you. Oh, looks like some raiders coming up here. So let's take this free tech too. All right, so we're going down the eco tree, and then we're going to go hard into the politics from there and really neglect our military and see how that goes. Do you intend to play the Stormgate? Oh, yeah, when the Stormgate open beta, yeah, I'll absolutely cover it. Any RTS game, sign me up. All right, so we just got some Landsrad guards. Pretty useless for us right now. Um, do we actually pay upkeep for them too? Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. They're, they're freebies. The exchange rate sucks really bad right now. You can see it's it's terrible. It's 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, what, they, vo they voted to nail my spice exchange rate? How dare they, dude? Let's see how those votes went. Um, oh, it's all factions. Oh, they supported it. Oh, interesting. So everyone is suffering that exchange rate. So what you want to do when the exchange rates are really bad, if you can afford to, is to stockpile your spice and uh, you know try and save it for a rainy day. All right, so we dealt with those raiders. Let's come back to the base. Um, out front here, Intel, if it has a building of each type. So what do we get here? We can actually get water which will be useful. And we, the maintenance center is hitting this, this, this. That's a really good maintenance center there. That's going to be cost reducing. That's a bad exchange rate though, man. That's really ugly. 1.1, you can see that. That is not good. Go. All right, so we got the knowledge building. We're up to 10 knowledge. Um, we can keep building out our villages. This one over here. Data center limit and plascrete per economy building. So it's giving us plascrete there too, which is very nice. We're at 95 plasteel, which I would say is a pretty good amount. Um, unfortunately, we can't pillage here. Probably gonna need some manpower building soon. We do have one. I suppose that's enough for now. All right, so the Chome shares are up, and uh, the, nobody's really buying into Chome too hard. Dude, I'm so excited for the next Dune movie. I literally watch that trailer probably like every other day. It looks so good. All right, so 107 for that, or we take this, and that gives recruitment office hegemony, which isn't as useful, or we use political influence to do a remote annexation on that special region down there, which is pretty sweet. But I think getting the triple spice field, considering our tech route, is going to be better. Yeah, and eventually um, we're going to want more manpower to... Um, the agent recruit speed there is nice too. Fremen and uh, yeah, nothing we want there. Okay, so we're going to go grab the spice field. And uh, eventually we'll get the defensive Atreides tech that make us 
uh, hard to take down. And there we are. All right, so we're about to get the late tier uh, upgrade there. Maybe we want to start getting some missile turrets. How are we looking here? This is Intel production and economy buildings. So let's get a manpower building here. We're going to need some more manpower soon. If we get a Greston early, you know, um, bread could be buttered. Although Carino never attacks, and the smugglers, they do attack early. That would be the biggest threat, would be like a smuggler um, smuggler legion coming. The old man of the desert, you think Shai Halud's coming for me already? Shai Halud probably is like, would be kind of homies with the Atreides, though, to be fair. The Atreides are pretty, like, respectful of, uh, you know, the culture and, uh, you know, the Fremen people overall. Like, you know, Duke Leto is very, very um, diplomatic and, you know, understanding. That, that scene in the book with Silgar, like, really, really, when they first meet, shows that pretty well. All right, so that's going to be taken, and um, we will get the Atreides foreman. Then from there, we need to start going down and get the uh, pol political stuff. Countermeasures for sure will be important, and uh, right on. Let's go ahead and slap down a refinery here. And uh, it's, I love that we can just build multiple buildings. That's a really, really nice boon. We can afford some militia in here. So that's, this base is very, very overextended in deep like enemy lands. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, throw down a missile turret here as soon as we possibly can. All right. It is uh, far out there. All right. New council coming up. Nothing that's really significant. Uh, I'm going to actually vote for the military hindrances to slow down military development since I'm not going that way right now. So that should be um, should be good. Blast deals building up and all is calm in the Empire. Yeah, Duke Leto is very Ned Stark. I would wager that Ned Stark was inspired by Leto Atreides, like in some regards. Like, I bet you George Martin was obviously probably had read the Dune series and was like into that. All right, so yeah, we see smugglers annexing a spice field up top. Um, I definitely want to build away from them. Smugglers are one of the most degenerate factions to fight. So I do not want that fight unless I like absolutely have to take it. All right, so let's run back to the base here and um, we're going to get more plasteel right here because we need it to build our base precious. It's looking good. I should have maybe gone eco, but I, I think. Yeah, this one's nice, so that keeps us kind of afloat here. Exchange rate's still pretty bad. The controlled markets are uh, pretty ugly. Yeah, man. Oof, the scariness. All right, so the turret's up, and we have another spice harvester, so let's go ahead and deploy that bad boy. And Atreides Foreman is really nice. It lets you uh, automatically deploy your harvester, so you don't have to even worry about it. So, yeah, we need to start getting some of the other tech here. And this region also does have um, knowledge building potential. All right. So, yeah, we're going to take this. Um, and then we're going to support this too with a lot of boats. Yeah, that should get one of those across here. And let's get the research hubs. There is a worm sign over here, but it looks like the Atreides carry all was able to get the men to safety. So shout out to the uh, carry all there. Yes, sir. All is peaceful. I love when the spice harvester attack. He says, I can hear your footsteps, old man, when the worm comes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good. All right, how are we looking here? Yeah, I just, um, man, I've just been getting into the Dune like book series. I hadn't read them um, until recently, and or I guess the first one. So I just finished the first one, and I'm going to be getting into the um, Dune Messiah next. Great, dude, they're so good. They're pretty easy to read, honestly. The first book was amazing. I've heard that Dune Messiah like kind of slows its roll a little bit. You know, very different, a little bit less action, which, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, so smugglers are getting real crunk here already. Um, they could come raid me here. For sure. Yeah, they're, they're pillaging. All right, that's that's just smuggler things. We do have some uh, some freebies here. So we want to do this. And where are the sieges? Um, I know we have some siege action. So that's the siege over there, unfortunately, that the smugglers are going to get. This is the one I want. Um, it really overextends me, though. Like, my I become like a giant dong extending on the middle of the map. Uh, let's start trading uh, influence for, um, for guild favor. It sucks to do it, but I feel like I kind of have to at this point. Uh, although, man, we really, really need that. In that like, If something pops up and we don't have a good surplus, it's going to suck bad. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so the Atreides uh, harvesters are out. So now we can go ahead and start gearing these out. So let's gear them out with uh, manpower as we get it. We don't have the harvester works, though, do we? Do we have harvester works? Did we build it yet? I don't think we had built that in the main base. This spice exchange rate's been killing our economy since it's very spice-focused. Um, all right, so we probably want to get an airfield down here. We'll get another research hub to get through the tech a little bit quicker. Research hubs have massive um, cost upkeep, but it is what it is, you know. Sometimes you got to pay the troll toll. All right, so let's go north. Let's get this. Uh, so that one is discovered, and this one down here, we could start trading with them. Yeah, at some point, 
Beseeches could come into play. So we have the research hub and the main base. Good. It passed and the exchange rate's good, so we can start selling pretty hard again, and that will help uh, bump up our economy once more. So let's go ahead and get the um, harvester works. Yeah, that'll be nice. That will make it cheaper to uh, do all this goodness. I don't know if it's like the most um, efficient build, but yeah, so far everything seems pretty smooth. Go lands rad. Um, is this worth it? Man, I don't know. We can. What can the guild give us? It's five or spice. Yeah, I need that influence. So I'm gonna have to find a way to get my mothership some other some other way. And the, the this base down here, I really want that. It's 177. Let's get some more military. So let's get a heavy weapon squad and a ranger. We need to have a good military in case we get attacked. And that's very likely with the Atreides. Um, so one influence, counterintelligence, so diplomatic maneuvers. This is really good because you get gifts near your base. Arguably, I should have gotten that earlier. But again, I'm still learning these bad boys, so bear with me. All right. Cool. So we're going to get that tech next. We have good knowledge in this region. And what we probably need to get is a upkeep production to make the cost of those damn um, buildings a little bit lower here. All right, so let's run down there with our army. Uh, a raid is coming, but it looks like it's an AI raid, which is fine. Arakine is gonna get the harvester works, which will let us get our harvesters like fully sauced out. The emperor is nearby here. Um, do I wanna send a non-aggression pack to him? Yeah, cause I need the influence for Lady Jessica. I can't be like hemorrhaging influence right now. I feel like that would be a, a huge mistake. All right, so the militia should be able to fight those guys off. I need this base. Oh my God, no, the emperor's taking it, no. So that might, I might have to get aggressive later and take that from him because that has an, an incredibly useful um, skill for me, basically. All right, so yeah, we go and take this harvester work uh, or this uh, region up here. So let's go up here, let's go up here. Um, we can get water down here, but I think for now, I'm just gonna plop down a maintenance center just to save a lot of money, basically. Yeah, we don't have an airfield though, which is very bad. We need an airfield down there. Yeah, so maybe I gotta cancel this and get an airfield, I think, yeah. Because that region could get attacked, and if I can't get to it, that's going to suck really bad. All right. Let's keep going here. Let's move up top. And we need to go get this other... Sp that's going to be four spice fields. And when Harvester Works finished, we can dump um, a lot of manpower into our harvesters. Um, probably this region could also use this. So let's get some manpower here. Perfect, perfect. Water's a little bit sparse, but we are going to get it soon. The Emperor could attack us. He's got a decent little conscript army. Um, at some point, we will try and take that siege because Duncan Idaho is pretty, pretty, you know, not helpful if we don't do that. All right, so let's go get the spice harvester here, and um, cool. So the harvester works is going to be finishing. Then we can start getting some more of these. Yeah, an intelligence agency would be nice. That one gives us, I believe, yeah, additional agent recruit speed, which is going to be huge. So sustainable spying and spying mastery. I don't think we're at risk of being assassinated quite yet. So we're gonna go down that way and uh, hope it all works out. Sunshine and rainbows, man. Gotta look, gotta hope for it. We currently don't have any fuel cells, but we can probably grab this region pretty safely, relatively unopposed. All right, but yeah, the, the spice greed is, is really coming over me here. That is for sure. Yeah, so we'll grab that. All right, so the spice region's been taken and um, sustainable spying is coming here, which isn't too, super useful, but spying mastery is very good. Small council is also not bad. Um, all right. So we need a little bit more plasteel, and then we can get another main base building. And um, yeah, how are we doing on hedge? We're actually pretty good on hedge. I mean, Atreides can kind of play the hedge game. So agent recruit speed or lands are outstanding. Let's go agent recruit speed for now. And uh, then we're going to have 15 agents like very, very quickly, which is good. Because we can use them to get all you know influence in a multitude of ways. All right. So this region is done. Let's get one militia up here. Yeah run back this way and now we can gear out our spice harvesters since it only costs 20 manpower so we want to we want to max them out one and uh that one should be ready in a second there is a smuggler scout in my base i could shoot it down if it keeps sitting there i'm gonna pop it although that could warrant unnecessary aggression but i Davok is a pretty logical player i don't think he's going to all right water sellers union um we need to decline that so decline water sellers yeah i'm just gonna put my votes into declining that for now and up here, can we get the spice works yet? Not quite. We need a little bit more plasteel. Should be able to get there soon. So four spice fields is pretty sweet. Um, that's that's that. Oh, wrong button. Cancel recall. All right, I'll slap you on there. And this guy is uh, auto recall needs to be on for him too. And then we get a spice building here, and throw you onto the spacing guild. All right. So water is going to be necessary also. 
And what did we get? Four up in that region? That ain't bad. All right, so once we get 150 here, we'll pop that down. Okay. We're focused. So looking at our shuttle network, yeah, it's not great. We're going to want a shuttle here and here so we can, like, deal with flank attacks, which inevitably will come. There we are. And yeah, man, if you guys have any questions, Emperor doesn't need to attack turn. He has everything he wants. Yeah, and the non-aggression. Yeah, absolutely. No non-aggression for him right now, but he could potentially get it soon. I mean, Atreides rarely attack. You, you can be aggressive with them, but they, that's not their strengths. Like Harkonnen and Fremen, uh, very, very aggressive, but typically Atreides are just like, hey, let's let's talk a little bit. Let's talk this through. Uh, we need the fuel cells here, so we're going to go grab those so we can get a research station. All right, so most of the bases are well-developed. Harvesters, let's go and get them fully geared out. We're about to get another one here. And uh, let's see what else we want to throw up here. Let's get an airfield so we can fly up there if need be. And another siege is going to be revealed. Well, hopefully we'll get a siege in our territory that we can actually take advantage of. Yes. All right. So the party has started. And um, we're going to decline that. Obviously, water sellers is too strong. And if we can't have it, we don't want anybody else to have it. So I think this lobby is experienced enough to make sure nobody gets that. But we'll see. I could be wrong. We'll see. All right. So we're going to take this region. We're going to be very nice. And uh, diplomatic congress. Yeah. So we now have non-aggression. That's The emperor wants that. Warlord. Um, that's that's very good play from him. Okay. So that region is chilling. This one's being developed. Let's get another militia in there. And uh, this harvester. Let's max it out. So our spice income is pretty scary. Um, we need to get a chome branch soon. But this is going to give us access to the fuel cells, which will allow for some goodies. Let's go grab this. All right. Let's get some militia, and we can get a turret, and we can also get some fuel cells here. Great. All's calm. We have a nice little empire for sure. Smugglers spreading out. I mean, yeah, again, we're just going to defend and play politically and kind of counterpunch if need be. Nearby base, we do have uh, some, ooh, some influence over there. So let's see how that last political run went. Um, it got declined. Good. So everybody, wow. If I hadn't voted all my votes into that, he would have gotten it. Because yes, Carino didn't um, didn't help out at all with that. Greedy Carino. All right. So we're trading here. And um, this region is like, I guess the trades aren't terrible, but our water is also very bad right now too. All right. Let's pop you. And we can get water here, which will help out. That has been handled. Now let's just go grab like any goodies we can find laying around. One of our spice harvesters got eaten. I don't know if I had it. Uh, forgot to put it on auto deploy or not. That's unfortunate. All right, so heading over this way, we definitely don't need our whole army to grab that, but I suppose that's how it's going to be. Take that money, and uh, in the main base, we need to get another building going. We we need to get the Chome branch that gives us like the crazy um, crazy income. And yeah, we need a maintenance center too. That's probably more important. All right. How the hell did this harvester die? I'm pretty sure I had it on auto recall. Unless there was some weird cheesiness I didn't notice. Okay, so you're maxed out. Um, you are not maxed out right now. So let's keep building those up if we can. Smugglers are nearby. I don't like it. Um, I definitely don't like it. Let's get another uh, trooper there and keep our army down here just to be safe. What does this region give us? Agent recruit speed, not bad. Spy mastery is coming up. That's gonna give us uh, the goodies. Then we can start really just like blitzing out agents. And uh, looking at my other tech options, we do have another agent at the ready. So let's go into the spacing guild for now. And uh, do we have enough plasteel? Not at the moment. All right. Not enough plasteel at the moment. Heavy militia. Emperor nearby. Atreides militia are, are good, but we don't have the upgrades for them yet. So they're not like that crazy at the moment. All right. So we need to get this uh, maintenance center. It's going to reduce the cost of these two regions, which instantly will jump our income up pretty good. Okay, so you need to be maxed out. Let's get that. Come on, buddy. Give it to me, Precious. We're going to stay here. Okay, smugglers are leaving, but Carino setting up on my border is very stressful. I don't like that. I do not like it, especially since I'm not investing in military too hard. And uh, Plasteel, yep, saving it for the main base. I think the Chome branch uh, is really good. It gives you plus 8 exchange rate when the base is 2.2, uh, and it also gives you a max spice pool so you can uh, stockpile and stuff. Very good. All right, so we're going to pop that. Going kind of eco. Atreides, rather than rushing. I think that's going to be a little bit more sustainable. Nobody's playing Chome. Oh, Smuggler's choming it. Yeah, Smugglers are choming pretty hard. Yeah, all right. Getting a little shady. Renegades have arrived. Um, we have some ship parts. Once we get an excess of influence, we can start building for ship parts. Right now, um, people rush a lot in this game. Not with my faction. The faction I'm playing is probably the most defensive turtling faction in the game. 
you get like literal bonuses for turtling, right? Um, yeah, so when people come into your region, there's like, you know, different penalties they can suffer depending on the techs you have and stuff. So yeah, Atreides are very defensive. Very, very defensive. All right, so Diplomatic Congress, great convention watchers is nice. That means that nobody's gonna be attacking here. Um, now we have the option for remote annexation. Um, we could take this one, but the smugglers would probably just, just beat us up and push us off it. Um, this special region does give recruitment office hedge. So I think we maybe just take that, see how it goes. All right, so let's pop this and main base is building. That's gonna get our economy nice and good. We're gonna build our military infrastructure. Yeah, we might have to delete. We'll probably delete the harvester works eventually and get like, cause we need the maxed out military tech, but our spice harvesting is pretty nuts right now. It's like, it's sauced. All right, so small council, let's go for the, um, yeah, that gives the council chamber building. What does that actually do? Let's find out. So council chamber. 10 lands rad and doubles the, ooh, doubles the likelihood of detecting uh, treachery. So judge of the council, do I have any way of getting elected myself? Who else is eligible? Me and Ekaz, and Ekaz probably beats me on votes. Is there any way I can, is there any gifts laying around from the guild? Unfortunately not. Doesn't look like it, damn shame. I don't know if we can beat Ekaz on this, so we probably lose out on it. I could go for the upkeep production. That could be an idea too. All right, let's grab that, resolve, and, um, yeah, our lands rad action is... We got two agents on that right now. We're going to take this uh, region to get recruitment offices and whatnot. So that's pretty built out. This is looking built out too. Um, let's put you on counter intel. Oh, we got a Benny Gesserit. Yeah, oh, it's a Mentat. This agent produces 50% of every field resource. Okay. That's pretty cool. So we got a Mentat. You can get Benny Gesserit as well as Mentats. You can get them both. Okay. Um, looking fine, so we're gonna grab this region. And do, can I can I possibly beat them? Ecas? I don't know if I can. It's gonna be pretty tight. Someone we might just get denied too. All right, so my eco is popping off now. We have that, and in the main base we can get the embassy. Um, it gives us ten lands rad standing after each council, and having one treaty with another faction gains gets you some resources. All right, let's just get the manpower building for now. All right, so here we want to build this out to get manpower and manpower. Cause that's what that region it is and we'll pull back here we'll go chill by the main base we can we can drop ship in if we need to all right looks like all harvesters are saturated out as well uh the only one one water production here that's pretty potato um all right we get that and three slurry per military building so we'll throw down another turret and then we can just keep building out this region let's get a knowledge building and the Landsrad Council is about to end. So we're gonna try and get this one. Oh, there's no way, Ecast is gonna get it. So um, it's not even that good of one, but I would like to get it. Hey, I actually want it, holy shit. Oh, Ecast went for something else. I did get Judge of the Council, awesome. Yes. So now I can I can train Lance Chad guards. I did not think I was gonna win that, to be honest. I really didn't. Awesome, dude. So this charter, um, it makes it, so the holder is immune to negative effects of any re uh, resolution modifier. So you're basically immune to um, like trolling political trolling um, to an extent. All right, let's grab this. Treaty has ended. Um, House Carino. Yep, we figured the, this day would come. I don't have that big of a military at this moment, but let's make some lands chad judges. And we can come down. I can't quite Lady Jessica him right now, which is unfortunate. I do have an army. Maybe we're going to be able to fight him off when we get the lands, lands chad guard here. Um, let's do the missions. We haven't really done too many of those. Uh, ceasefire, is that available? It is 500. So let's cancel this and see if we can get a ceasefire. Um, is there any way we can get intel right now? I don't know. So he's just torching buildings. He's trying to take it over. Um, we probably wait for the Landsrad judges to pop out and then we attack. So let's get in the mountain valley there. But I was not expecting aggression from the Emperor, that's for damn sure. Usually the Carino is like very, very relaxed. Like they don't, they're not attacking you. All right, so Lady Jessica, unfortunately, I just used all my influence to get that. So I think we can beat this army once my Landsrad big boys get here. Um, let's go this way, and it's going to be a hot minute before he attacks um, or goes for that. So let's get some wardens too. Yes, sir. We'll get some good quality military units now and see if we can fight him off. Um, do we have enough for this? A ceasefire could work. Jessica could work, but I used my Lady Jessica tricks to, uh, you know, do other things. So what else do we want to do? Scavenger team is useful, and I believe as far as other ones go, we could do the worm. All right, so we're gathering up our troops. I have no idea how this is going to go. Um, he's got a decent army, but I do have the Landsrad Judges, which are pretty good quality units. So we're going to move in and see if we can, you know, punish a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, let's gather up and uh, let's fight. He just popped the shield thing, which is going to give his army um, armor. All right, so he has a missile turret right on the border, which is pretty unfortunate. Let's run away with you. And uh, these guys need to just scoot and shoot. All right, so pull you back. He's trying to snipe that. Yeah, his army's better than mine, I think. We'll see. Let's get on this. We're going to do a little bit of damage, but I guess if we buy some time, maybe we can we can do a little bit of kiting here. But no, he's invested in military, and I have like none. So yeah, we're, we're going to pay the troll toll here, guys. All right, so running away. See if you can shoot this guy as he tries to uh, back up. Not sure what that is. It is... Okay, we got a pick there, which is good. Let's pull back, and now we need to get some... Uh, we might have to go into military tech right now. Because we can't fight him like this. This is just going to be a disaster over and over. Let's get a missile turret right here. Keep running away. Get the big boys coming down. You guys move. And he's going to take that region. Yeah, well played. Nothing we can do about that. So that's going to put us down to three spice fields. And this is where, you know, you kind of get punished a little bit for greed. Uh, yes. We want that. Let's get our troopers down here. As long as we don't lose more regions, I would say we're okay. We're quite rich at this point. But yeah, he's he's way ahead of me in military. He's got like more units and just more action going. But we can eventually develop a Death Star that can push that off. Listening. This guy does have an influence upkeep, so we're going to cut him. And we do lose that. So in a way, that does make Carino a bit more of a public enemy of sorts. You know, they're, they're growing strong. They're growing fat. Um, airfield option is on the table here. Unfortunately, I didn't have Lady Jessica, so I couldn't stop that fight, which, which is really, really crappy. Um, this is water for manpower down here. We don't have that much, so I don't think that's going to help. Hmm. All right, so we got wardens coming out. Now we're switching into military tech a little bit. Let's get a research center up here if we can afford it. How much is that going to cost? Research station, 500? Yeah, we're ready to stop him now for the next attack. Let's get Chome. We got good counterintelligence also, so if somebody tries to assassinate us or something, we should be pretty durable against that. And we need this research station. Uh, it'll give us just a ton, a ton of knowledge. All right, drop that back there. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get the basic military techs. And then do we wanna go and do more of this? I feel like we're pretty okay in other regards. Yeah, no, we were playing extremely greedy. We definitely deserved that. Um, buying into the Chome now is going to be tough. I would like to get to 10% if possible. Let's go ahead and get some Rangers, some just range units. And uh, as far as the armory goes, what upgrades do we want to get for the big boys? Uh, armor, probably just make them tanky, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. And our DPS can come from the backfield. So I need to keep my influence for Lady Jessica in case it gets crazy. Speaker of the Council, they shouldn't let me have that. Um, so I'm going to just go for infrastructure control to try and get cheaper buildings for myself because uh, there's if they... Everyone's going to try and deny me that, right? Or, you know, I could go, like, into this and then into this. As long as they're not watching the stream, this should work. Yeah, so they're, 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 um, they're declining it. So I'm going to try and get these other ones here. <laughs> no, don't do it. So they're declining me a very powerful, powerful uh, Atreides trait, basically, which is just nuts if it goes off. All right, so the main base building is underway. We're soon going to be able to get a barracks. We did lose uh, two research buildings there. That's right. Yeah, that's that's pretty unfortunate. All right, so let's slap some down here to make sure we can actually get some knowledge, man. And we'll throw another one up here, too. All right, so it's going to take a while to get a military that can fight back against that, um, especially since he's going to have his mothership soon, and I probably won't have mine for a hot minute. So, um, yeah, let's get some more rangers, and then we can get some basic Atreides troopers. Let's get them to watch the carry-all here. And what is he building here? Yeah, he's just spicing it out. Currently, he's being raided a little bit, so we could go down there. I do have Lady Jessica. In case the fighting goes south, I can, you know, have her do her witchcraft. I do have 150 now. I'm about to lose a lot of it, though, because I'm trying to trying to pull something really cheeky here. So we'll see if it works out. Need a military base here also. Yeah, looking uh, good. I mean, smugglers are looking strong. Um, hegemony. Like, what's going to probably happen is the Imperials are going to get greedy. Let's see, is he going hedge already? No, he's not doing hedge. Okay, so he is not. Man, Carino has such powerful tools. Very scary. All right, so let's start buying into Chome. I want to get to 10% so I can get the um, influence. Yeah, so I'm going to buy a couple rounds of Chome shares now because my income is pretty damn good. It's pretty good. All right, so we're buying up. We're at 4%. Um, we're going to have to pump our brakes a little bit. Military tech is there, so now we can get a barracks here once we get a little bit more Plasteel. And Charter Contender, Judge of the Council, our exchange rate's good. Yeah, we got, ooh, yeah, we got, so it worked out. I think we got both of them. Did we get it? Oh, I, we didn't get the cost reduction, but we got the Landsrad Punishers, which are really good uh, units, so. Let's make some basic troopers. And for the Rangers, let's get some upgrades here. Um, sniper rifles, 
We'll give them attack range and power. Do we just want to go for power? Hmm. Let's just go for the power. Yeah. Never hurts. And we'll get a barracks here, which will give all our units plus uh, one armor, which ain't bad. And yeah, Atreides don't really have any like super cool um, like offensive offensive traits they can do. We see the Spice Harvester getting hammered there. Back here, we have knowledge. And now our knowledge is back up to 21, which is good. So at least we got that going for us. All right, so let's take this, get the intel. And uh, Arrakis Diplomacy EMP Bomb. He's just sitting there with his whole army, basically, which appears to be pretty good. What do you need? And um, I could get a military base down here. But we wouldn't want to attack until the barracks is ready anyways. Yeah, I didn't even vote for that. Leave order is good. We probably want to have that. Um, probe set up. Any operation launched? Yeah, I'm still learning all the Atreides tricks, so yes, bear with sir. me. All right. So the trooper's going to head down there. We spent quite a bit on Chome. It only got us to 4%. I just need to get 10. I don't care about getting more than that. And why is our... Oh, the exchange rate isn't amazing at the moment. Is it not? All right. Um, Landsrad standing for Solari. Not worth it. And we now have a the ability to... We don't have Lady Jessica yet. So I need to be careful and make sure I can get her to defend against a uh, raid or force him into a non-aggression. I would like to go get this region. It's pretty good. So we'll probably um, send a couple troopers and you over here. And they can fly up there. I believe there's an airfield. No airfield. Damn. All right. So they're just going to have to run. Ah, smugglers are taking it. I think they are. They could be pillaging it too. That reminds me. I need to get a friggin' airfield up here so I can fly around. Um, looking at the shuttle infrastructure. Let's go here. No airfield, no airfield, and no airfield right now. So bouncing around is going to be hard. He's just pillaging it. Okay, that's fine. So we can do that. Let's take the gifts for influence. And hopefully Hadries will attack too. Because I'm kind of running out of bases to get. I could do the remote an annexation. Um, there's not really like anything that's super alluring. I could go down here and take this region, which would be very funny. But it's, it's very vulnerable to the Emperor. So I think I'm just going to keep saving up. All right, so we're at our max supply. We're going to have mechanization. Um, this gives us more command points. All right, cool. So that will give us the command post building. This is going to make our military at least respectable. Lady Jessica's cooldown. I'm not sure what it actually is off the top of my head. All right, so we're going to go... Yeah, he's trying to take this region, so we're going to go hammer this right now and just raid him. Uh, and then we have the worm. So what we can do is we can probably drop a worm right here to force him to run... Through the desert. Yeah, we're going to go and try and seal this base back. He's going to respond pretty quickly, though, I would wager. But we drop a worm, and then if he tries to get to us, he gets uh, munched, which is the game plan. All right, so let's get in there, pound those guys out, and we drop the decoy thumper, and let's move on to the base and beat these guys down. Oh, this could this could have been a big doom for my army. We'll see how this fight goes. I have no idea. His militia are really tanky, though. Man, how are they so raid boss? Okay, the worm ate part of his army, which was the plan going somewhat according. And now we fight. I have no idea. Let's pop scavenger teams here to make sure we get a lot. How are his turrets still shooting? Ah, oh, they're on the other side, yeah. Well played. We're killing stuff, but overall we're still too deep into his territory, so we're probably going to have to use Lady Jessica to um, salvage the situation. Let's like lure him out into the desert, see if we can get him to get some of his guys eaten with us. All right, let's shoot a little bit, do some sniping. Can we pop one more guy? See, the scavenger teams is giving us money for every unit that dies, though. It's a really powerful trait. This one Chad Rifleman just like hanging out there like, I'm going to go down in the desert. All right, so I don't think fighting the Emperor is, is a good game plan unless somebody's teaming up. He's He's got four missile turrets right here because he can double build those. So that just feels like just bad news bears. Um, yeah, we need more military tech. Let's get you. Should have had a military base a long time ago here. So I think we're just full on the defense now because we can't... In a one-on-one in -on -one fight in even territory, maybe I could hold there, but overall it just feels bad. All right, let's grab some of you guys. Militia, and we probably just start remote annexing territories. This one we need to get as soon as it's open. Although, oh, we can actually start a peaceful annexation on it, even though it's been um, it's been beat up. That's really good. All right, so we could start that. And uh, yeah, we we killed like you know his militia or whatever, which is cute. I the council gives us extra agents. Um, loss of rights is fine. The smugglers have way more influence than us. So what we probably do is just greed vote and see if we can get away with it. Our influence production is plus 11 now, which is respectable. What do you need? Airfields. We do not have airfields down there, so it's going to be uh, running. Get a couple rangers, which yes, probably sir. won't be so good against like the Sardaukar and stuff. And we have more influence here, so let's see if we can use that bonus to vote ourselves as the Eye of the Council. I want to get as many charters as we can. 
And this will let us get the command post building, which is going to be nice. Man, it's hard to attack into him. The Trades aren't particularly good at that either. We need um, Karina to become the uh, Dark Lord, so everybody will start kind of teaming up against him. That's probably my best hope. All right, so that region has been taken, and we'll bring you down here. So now we have basic military. Let's go ahead and get all the um, the Landsrad stuff, yeah. Countermeasures too, because we could easily get assassinated, so we need to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, and our knowledge right now is what, 21? Eh, it's all right, not amazing. How are we looking here? This region gives us one if we have one building of each type, so let's just go ahead and get a basic eco building here. For a little bit of extra dough. And we're doing okay financially. We're not like a super big powerhouse. What do you need? A couple rifles are coming out. Let's get some Devastator squads as well as some basic troopers just to have a cheaper upkeep while also having a good army. Let's take this uh, Fremen mercenary here. And he could attack. He does have artillery drones. If he starts drone attacking me, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay, we need to bank more spice because we're almost about to miss the tax. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a non-aggression pack because these are some of the most OP units in the game. These drones... Attacking into them or having them seize your towns is one of the most miserable things you can encounter, so. Alright, so we're going to try and get this, if we can. Um, that will be a bit. And did we get it? Probably not. Nope, smugglers beat us, and we wasted a bunch of influence. Loss of rights goes down, so the only one who gets it is the Eye of the Council now, and they all voted for loss of rights, so. Alright, um, so we got 5k... We're going to miss a tax, so I need to stockpile everything to make sure we don't miss that tax for now. So we're going to take a big economic hit for now, which sucks, but, you know, you you, you do what you got to do. Get a missile turret over here. And uh, are we going to make it? Are we going to be able to pay our taxes? Hopefully so. All right, let's spy on Carino a little bit. I'm, am I going to have to go with, like, an assassination against these guys? I don't know, man. Because we have so many politi uh, political factions in the game right now. It's... um. Yeah, it's tricky. This is going to be ours soon. And as soon as that one's ready, we need to fully build it out, like, really quick. Um, I'm going to try... Yeah, we have a non-aggression with the uh, smugglers. Yes, we're All right, so let's pull back. Carino is uh, playing it pretty cautious on hedge. Hadri's on the bottom is chilling out, too. And did we get this region? Is it going to give it to us, even though it was devastated? That's really powerful if it actually circumvents that mechanic. Let's see if it does. Maybe it waits and just, like, sits there. No, we actually get it. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, so we're being attacked anywhere. No, and we should have enough influence to feel safe again in a minute. Let's get this, and uh, let's go ahead and grab a water here too. And we can grab a spice silo, which will buff the spice in the field next door. And then we have more influence, which is great. Always good to get those little gifts. And we need to get good quality militia here, so we're going to cut these ones. And get the uh, heavy militia with the Atreides. Next up, we go down the tree um, to get all of our border defenses. And it sucks that we couldn't get that Duncan Idaho territory, though. That was that was the, the biggest loss we've suffered for sure, was not getting that. Um, let's get a ceasefire and a worm call. So those are really good agent actions. And man, look at that exchange rate right now. Holy shit, that is bad. 1.2 exchange rate. Why is that so terrible? Oh, controlled markets went off again. Okay, fair play. All right, so heavy militia are there. If you don't pay the... T so every time you pay a tax, you get a benefit. Um, the spice exchange rate goes up. But if I don't pay my tax, I lose all these benefits. So my exchange rate would go 0.5. Like, I'd lose, like, a ton. I, it would just put me in the pits, basically. Sometimes you can get away with not paying it, but generally speaking, you want to uh, pay your spice tax if you can. Yeah, it's pretty important. All right, so the big gunners. Let's get the heavy weapon squad. So armor destruction is always good. And, um, yeah, I think that's, like, the only one we really need here. These guys are around. Good. And this base is now ours. Our hedge is at 16, so we have a respectable amount of hedge. And we have the Solari benefit here. Village straight. Is there anything we want to do here? It would give us a little bit more money. Uh, probably an airfield. Yeah, so we can fly down here. And let's take the free tech. All right, so in the main base, we have another building. Uh, command post, yes. We need to, you need to max out on that. But Landsrad support's coming, and then countermeasures, which will... Um, Hopefully be good for us. Now, let's fine-tune this a little bit. 5% gather rate per economy building in village, which isn't going to be that good in a lot of the villages. So, I probably can get rid of the harvester works. Yeah, that exchange rate is, like, pit, like absolutely tanking our economy. So, we're just going to have to chill out and, and gather up. The Imperial... Yeah, the Imperial IRS is no joke. It's just like real life. It's just pure suffering, you know? 
All right, so we got fuel cells here, which is awesome. And um, we can go ahead and slap down a, does a listening post do anything? We're not in conflict. So a listening post here would actually be prudent because it would, um, we can cut plasteel at this point probably. I think we're good enough. And we're gonna get a listening post, which will give us more influence because we're in conflict with them. And over here, we're not in conflict with homeboy. Let's get an airfield so we can fly over if need be and go hang out by the main base. Yeah, the tax man isn't messing around, dude. So attacking us right now for anybody would be miserable, uh, considering that we have the uh, ceasefire and we have Lady Jessica on standby, so should be fine. I don't think the Emperor is going to be a problem. Uh, let's see how he's doing. Is he building hedge buildings? You always need to be checking this. So no hedge buildings here. Um, and is he building any in the fronts? No, he's building listening posts just to get the uh, influence and whatnot. All right, so we'll take that free tech. And as far as the agent goes, looks like our agent got caught, the one that was spying on the Emperor. That's pretty funny. Evil. Landsrad standing for manpower. Let's lose this. And judge of the council. So how are we doing politically? We do have probably the best influence. Um, Harkonnen taint. Oh, that's funny. So we could actually vote that on somebody else. Can I win the judge of the council again? Smugglers would probably beat me on it. Yeah, let's like try for it though and see if we can. I wish I had 980 votes. We'll see if we can hopefully out out kind of do them there. Uh, Kronos is coming, so that's going to be pretty crazy. We do have a shuttle, so we can fly over there and meet him if he's doing that. So is he attacking there? I have the ceasefire ready. I have Lady Jessica ready too. And it looks like he was just kind of exploring the waters. Maybe he was thinking about attacking, but then realized I had an airport over there, so didn't want to do it. Yeah, so Kronos is the heavy ship for these guys, and it acts as um, a troop carrier too, which is really, really nice. All right. So he's trying to trade with me. So the reason why he wants a non-aggression pact is because he's probably going to be struggling with Hadrius now. See? Yep. he's in Hadrius is setting up on his borders, which means he's concerned. So you never want to give people that, you know, unless it really, really benefits you. Um, yeah, so smugglers over here. We have ceasefire. Um... I'm going to send the smugglers a... Let's do a research agreement. All right. I'm going to offer them a research agreement, see if they'll take it. Let's keep trying to get Judge of the Council. It's a really nice one. Makes you immune to negative effects and whatnot. We have a lot of authority right now, so I'm going to have to try and remote annex something. Uh, did he take it? He might take it. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to keep trying to pour votes in there. Might need to keep a little bit for Lady Jessica. Granted, I do have a ceasefire at the ready, so I'm not too concerned about that. Now, this game doesn't require too much APM. It's 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 a lot of like strategizing and scheming. Um, yeah, I think we're fine here. All right, other upgrades here. Yeah, we're pretty damn poor. That exchange rate has just been absolutely just nuking our economy. All right, so did we get the charter? No, we didn't. ECAS actually outvoted us um, by a little bit, by 10. Wow, very close. Well played. Um, all right, let's grab this gift here. The Emperor is going to probably get sandwiched here. He's got his drones chilling and being obnoxious here. He's got a military factory over on the far side, so that's that's pretty heavy duty. So his military is definitely probably stronger than mine. Um, harvester works. I think we can cut this out because all our harvesters are basically maxed out. So we can switch this one out for something else, and we'll see what the options are. Yeah, we, we can go for the military. That gives us uh, training. Um, we can also get that. I think we just get the military academy eventually. Countermeasures will make it so we're very difficult to assassinate. And will allow us to put a third slot there as well. Yeah. 1.5 is a good speed to play at once you're experienced with the game. Um, all right. So do we have enough to ninja province? Um, this one could be taken, which is pretty funny. Uh, this is a special region, the smugglers. Oh my god, that'd be so funny if I took that. That would be really good. What is he building here? He's building a fuel cell factory. All right, so he's pretty calm. Yeah, we're just kind of out of space to expand, really. I mean, except the middle, but the middle is like a huge red flag. Uh, let's go ahead and do a peaceful annexation of this territory here. And insider trading, we don't really, I, I've given up on my chome dreams for now. So we're gonna go get all the border defense tech, which is crazy good with the Atreides. It makes it very hard to attack them. Their militia get like a thousand plus HP. All right, so what are we doing? You guys talking about how difficult games are to learn in the beginning. Total War has a, and multiplayer has a huge learning curve. Um, yeah, but, you know, I would say Total War is, like, easier to master than other RTS games, though. Like, Age of Empires is way harder than Total War, in my opinion. Way, way harder. Um, 
But, you know, it's just my anecdotal experience. All right. Um, Emperor. So everyone's kind of playing possum right now. Uh, he is not that rich either. Let's do this. Yeah, we have our three spice fields, which is cute. Let's take this and get that. We have our ceasefire scavenger teams you should always have in the back pocket. And let's max out counterintelligence. Um, and we can also do some diplomatic spying. So diplomatic spying isn't bad. It allows you to, um, you get influence from it, which is great. Yeah, we don't have any, like, charters, which sucks right now. Currently, smugglers are just crushing us on influence. It's kind of, like, hard to deal with them with their... But if, like, if I attack Deavok, then the Carino is running away. I need somebody else to strike first. Hadris, is he building military bases? I can't see. We are taking this region over peacefully, which is... It's a pretty nice region, actually. Has a research station and some other things as well. Totally agree with you. Uh... Yeah, Total War doesn't require much micro. That's right. It's more just like army building and decision making, but in age you have to manage resources, micro, macro management. It's just an exponentially harder game. Like here's the thing. If you look at Total War Warhammer, like I, you know, I played a bit. I don't put like a ton of effort into playing the meta or getting like super serious about it in terms of competitive play, and I've taken plenty of games off the best players in the world in Total War Warhammer. Like plenty of games. Um, but if you put me in Age of Empires 4, I'm a I'm, you know, Theoretically, like, I've gotten Conqueror several times, but I could never beat the best players in the Age of Empires 4. Like, if you had me play Beastie, or one of those top guys like Marine Lord, probably would not be able to take a game off them. You know, probably not. It's, um, yeah. It's, uh, there's just so much of a, yeah, a skill gap there. It's, it's, it's wild. All right, so main base, yeah, we don't have enough for that. Airfield network, veteran militia is great. And border defense is nice, too. Are we going to have to go for, like, a hedge victory here? Um, who's up on hedge? So the Emperor guys, um, he's playing very smart, by the way. This Carino player, he's really good. Because most Carino players get a hard on and try and win too quickly with the uh, hegemony buildings. But he's playing very cautiously and very conservatively, right? Um, so yeah, he is. he's doing it. All right, so up top, we're about to get this region, which is going to be nice. Um, I do have a research agreement with the, the smugglers. You know, I'd rather deal with the smugglers in the late game than with the Emperor and those. Although, I don't know. Is AoE4 Marine Lord the same as... Yeah, it is. He's a, he's really good. I mean, and Beastie is also a, a former StarCraft pro, if I'm not mistaken. And he's, like, top tier, too. Watching him play is, like, insane. Yeah, it's the same guy. Dude, those guys are nuts. Yeah, Daybok is practicing smugglers. But Daybok is just good at every... Like, he's good at every faction. He's, he, he, can, he can do it all, man. All right. Let's get you, and let's get a Plast Creek building, since there's a financial incentive here. Uh, let's get this, and we can just fully build out this village. That's what's so cool about the Atreides, is they can do this. All right, and um, uh, let's go ahead, and uh, what else do we want to do? Man, we are just, like, in the pits financially. Dune Governorship! Wow, look at that! Oh, my God. Okay, this is an interesting one. Hadrius has, like, no votes, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to try and take this. Um, <laughs> voting on that, yeah. Oof. You know what? Let's actually not do that. And let's think about that one for a minute. And hopefully we don't forget. All right, so this turret should be built um, more front-facing, actually. Smugglers are taking the middle. No, they're pillaging. Um, and here, what else do we want to get? An airfield would probably be next. Oh, we don't have enough water. Jeez. So we need to optimize our water situation. So where do we not have water? Okay, this region has four supply, and there's water that can be built there. All right. Where else can we get water that we don't have it? Um, we have water here. Water back here, we do not. So we can get rid of a plasteel building and turn that into a water building. And our economy is, is decent now. It's back a little bit. Yeah, tomorrow we have an Age of Vampires 4 tournament. Um, if you go to AoE 4 Tavern, which is total tavern but for Age of Vampires, it's, um, it's going down tomorrow. I'm just going to try and like snake this one. And um, we can we can do this for the smugglers. No, let's let's try and uh, yeah, let's try and weasel that one for ourselves. Although smugglers are going to crush us in votes, so it's not even worth it. I should probably just vote smugglers here to get the money because I'll get money per vote cast on them. I'm just going to do that to make some bank. Yeah, screw it, man. The veteran militia is there. Um, smugglers are here, but we have like a bit of a. A friendly relationship with them. The Emperor is going to be a problem at some point. Border defenses will give us two turrets. And let's see. Alright, main base building is ready. What do we want to get? Uh, lands rad? Nope, we don't care about that. And uh, let's do some diplomatic spying. That gives us influence. We have plus 18 right now. 
Uh, man, it feels so weird to play so passive with this with with a faction. You know, I'm usually such an aggressive player. Next game, I'm probably going to play Fremen so I can aggro more for you guys and get a little bit crazy. That'll be fun. Um, all right, so let's go back here and get the military factory for our army. Otherwise, it's going to fall behind in strength and just be weak. So we don't want that. Sieges are revealed. Sadly, we don't have any siege alliances. And uh, yeah, we're alive, sort of. We have enough for Lady Jessica. We grabbed another village. And you know what? I think I'm just going to grab random ass villages that I can around the map right now because screw it. You know, why not? <laughs> should, we should we take this one? Oh, should we take the special region in between the smugglers? No. That's going to put us up to 20k hedge, which will make us target number one. You need to fix the AOE for uh, it only loads with H. Huh. Interesting, Zach. Shoot me a message in Discord about that. All right, so we have 4K right now, and we literally have plus seven. Our eco is, this ain't the Harkonnens. That's something I'm learning here. All right, let's take that free agent. It's really nice to have the extra one. And we'll slap them down on the, um, I don't want to spy on the Emperor because they have those really good units that like insta-capture you. So veteran militia is what it's all about for the Atreides. That's going to make it hard to deal with us. Although our military tech sucks so bad. Yeah, we're mostly geared out on the other ones. I think we're fine. Our water supply has come back up. We grabbed this region. Karina already wiping me? All right, sounds good. My Duke. It's the right uh, Duke. Going to attack him now. Keep him busy. All right, so Hadrius is getting attacked by the Emperor and this is the time for the, the, the Haggard Atreides to rise. Yes, it is time. I don't know if Hadrius is politicking or not, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and try and take advantage of this because, dude, we're we're such like a haggard troll. Like, he's gonna come back and just beat the hell out of us, and then I'm just gonna have to force a non-aggression pact with him. That's what's gonna happen. Um, I think the harvesters are fully staffed. Yep, uh, one of them isn't. Oh, there you go. Okay. Ally agent escaped. Yes. All right. Diplomatic spying. Let's go. He's already here. How is he back already? What do you need? All right, so we're moving into attack, and this is all right. You know, we're doing a little bit of deeps. I don't think he's got a full army here. So let's go ahead and pillage this, and then we can uh, attack, 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 and hope for the best. Chase those guys down. Perfect, perfect. And we'll retreat for a second. Take out some buildings while we can. A couple of these guys go here, go here, do this. And wow, those those siege tank drones hurt super bad. You see how much like splash damage they do? It's pretty foul. All right. We don't want to lose too much here, so I'm just going to destroy some buildings and retreat. Yeah. Call it a victory. Kronos is returning, but we got to keep him honest, you know. If he's able to just do whatever he wants and beat up Hadrius, we need Hadrius as a buffer against him. All right. So that was something. We killed his militia in one building. Big, big, and a couple military units, too. All right. Okay, he's running away with this. Let's get our, uh, our guns to go shoot that thing. Yeah, he's not going to want to. The guns, we should be able to reach him. Yeah, we can range him nice. Okay, so pull back the injured one, have you keep shooting here, and uh, he's at risk of losing it, for sure, if he keeps chasing. All right. So far, so good. Landsrad Council coming up. He captured our agent once again. Classics. Um, he's not going to want to attack our borders, because we obviously will have the goodies soon. And uh, this region's all right. Smugglers are, are nearby cackling. Um, we have the listening post. The village trait here is cute. I might have to resort to nukes, honestly, as, as potato as that might seem. It might have to be. He's very strong, dude. Siege drones are incredibly broken. Those things are just nasty, nasty. They do so much work. All right. Uh, I have the council. Could we beat smugglers in votes? No, they have so much more than us. Man, it's crazy how much they have. All right. So that looks fine. Yeah, I, I'm not going to fight the emperor alone, though. So if Hadrius isn't actively fighting him, I'm not going to fight him either. Because moving into those lands is just like a hellscape. It's just pure misery. Um, let's take this base back here. No, we don't want to be the first to 20k hedge. Nobody wants that. You know, nobody wants that. Hey, Bach, thank you for being a member for 16 months. Everything's going well. Yeah, smugglers just hit 20k hedge. So they're ahead of us, which is good. Um, so maybe people will turn on the smugglers now. We'll see. I, the council, is here. Um, all factions suffer per controlled village. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Since I have pretty good authority, that's going to tank everybody's authority for sure. Um, I, I guess I could try and get this. What are the votes? Are we close even? I think smugglers... Oh, they already have Eye of the Council. Yeah, so they would have to vote themselves in again. All right, lads. Uh, all right. What's the plan? I don't need to type in all caps. 
What's the plan? Do we do assassinations? Is that what we need to do here? It's imp the emperor's like so hard to assassinate though because of the. Uh... All right, 470 there. That's pretty fat. I have the council is a good one. We got two more uh, demo units here. Border defenses is coming, and then from here we just max out military. Nice and easy. Nobody overreact. He says. I love it. He knows it's coming, dude. He knows it. It's on the way. Um, all right, let's do that, and then we can annex that region. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna try and get this region here. Although no, we we probably need to keep the um, keep it for the boats here. I would like that one. The two two free agents would be really nice. No batteries, no droid army. Ecas had so Hadrius has no batteries, so he's he's probably pretty weak because of that. We have to wait and see if that other thing passes there. All right, so we're gonna try and grab this. Uh, I don't have too much interest in the Age of Sigma RTS. I just think Age of Empires is just a vastly superior game. And um, I don't really care for the Age of Sigmar aesthetic. All right, so, ooh, perfect. Finally, we can get some, some damn spaceship parts. Maybe get our mothership before this game's over. Sh nuking with Atreides is really bad. You give up all your political, like, you know, leeway, which is not what you want. Border defense taking 10 years to finish, geez. Uh, anything we can grab around here? We see the smugglers hanging out. I mean, I have a good spot with which to attack them if I want to. Diplomatic nuking, yes, of course. Um, did I get it? Yes, I want it. Nice. So we got two more agents. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start setting up infiltration cells on the smugglers, and we can go ahead and cancel out the uh, supply drop, and we can do another infiltration cell here. That will let us get even more uh, influence, which is something I should have done earlier. But again, I'm learning how to play trade. So, all right, let's gather you guys up here. I'm chilling out. Uh, we almost have that. We're going to have two infiltration cells. We can fly around if we want to. Um, the middle is being pillaged. This is like this is like the boiling point. Carino has not switched to doing hedge buildings yet, which means they're not going to be trying to hedge, hedge us probably um, for a while. So non-aggression pact. Uh, yeah, we can just... I'm fine with that. That's fine. We can do that, and then we uh, can get those cells set up. We'll take the non-aggression pact with the Emperor... And uh, this is a good opportunity for us to grab some territory. What did he say? I think it's time for an overreaction is what he says. Oh, the Emperor's coming. Dude, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to get a little bit wild here too. So we're going to put an infiltration cell back here. And that will allow us to slap another agent uh, onto spying here. And uh, Kronos on the move. I do feel bad. I've been kind of homies with the smugglers for a long time. But, um, you know, everyone's time must come. So we're going to throw an infiltration cell back here, and that will allow us to do more diplomatic spying. So now our influence is plus 22, which is pretty massive, actually. All right, so now this is where we cackle. This is our opportunity to shine. So let's go ahead and break the non-aggression pact and do this and shuttle over here. This feels really evil, dude. Yeah, the Emperor's going in. I'm going to backstab him. It feels bad, but like I have nowhere else to go. I have nowhere else to get territory, dude. You know? So he's battling, and then I'm going to battle this. Yes, give it to me, precious. <laughs> the, the Atreides betrayal. Uh, I'm just like this rat, just like desperately trying to get goodies. I'm like, come on, give me something. All right, so we're going to take that region because we want the fuel cells. So let's take all these down. Warlord's fact says that went very differently in my head. Oh, God, I'm going to be next. Oh, no, I'm going to be next. Does he have a dropship up here? He does have an airfield. I need to kill that sh really quick. Shit, he's going to arrive before that happens, isn't he? All right. E2 turn. Dude, I need, I'm need. i a rat in the corner, dude. I have nothing. I am just a beggar. Oh, I killed the airfield last. That's really noob. Oh, God. Desperate rat here. All right. So we got that. So he could move up on us, which would be rough. Let's move here. Keep you on the site. And we'll keep you on the site, too. And we have a redeploy. Unfortunately, he got wormed. Um, let's go ahead and make another ornithopter. And I don't know if he's going to come for us. Oh, he is. Okay, so we need to move on to this. He's got like a big air force. So yeah, he's going to be able to troll us here. Okay, pulling back. Those things are pretty annoying. Air units in this game are really annoying in general. They're my, like, their ability to micro is very troll. We can just keep doing this all day, though. If he wants to just keep microing here and not paying attention to other things. Okay, so it looks like he he disconnected, so let's pause. Uh, DC Carino. 
Let's see if he comes back. All right, so we'll pause for a second. Meantime, we can look at all this. So you should be able to reconnect. Desperate times, you, new, that's why I like playing Harkonnens the most, honestly. It's just like the Haggard New King is just so fun. Um, border defenses are up. We do have a turret. Turret should have been a little bit deeper set. Um, hopefully he'll reconnect. I'm gonna go check with him in Discord and see if he's around. Okay. And let's see if he's back. Warlord uh, reconnects. We paused. If he DCs, that changes a lot. It's going to become like we have to kill the Emperor because the, the computer cheats. I, I feel like it should just get rid, rid of the, uh, rid of the what's it called? Like the whole player when they disconnect. Why not? Uh, really? Normally you do. Oh, uh, you do. It says it's still up. All right, so he says he might not be able to reconnect, but we'll see. That's going to change everything, because then it's basically going to be all of us just kind of going after the old AI here. Although then Hadrius and I might have to team up on the smugglers. Oh my god, he dropped an Imperial base over here? Oh wow, look at this. Carino dropped an Imperial base in smuggler lands. Oh man, that's crazy. Okay, so what's it going to be? So we'll see if SPAC is going to be able to click uh, MP and see if it's an option. So we're just waiting for him. We're going to give him another minute. There might be a chance he can't make it back. And uh, do we have any more? We have plenty of shooting here, I guess. He's like flyers. I should probably like control group my guys. Let's do this. One and uh, two. Actually go to the armory and get them sniper rifles. That would probably be good. So then they can, uh, they can range down those ships. All right, we'll continue. It's a shame. He was doing great. He was doing great. Weird game crash for him. All right, so back we go. Ready? I want to make sure this guy's ready because I don't want to cheese the ships if he's not watching. And uh, what else do we want to get from you? We have to make sure uh, Deobok is ready as well. Is he? And we'll get the wardens to go stand here. All right. There we go. Get you guys back. And it looks like he's coming, so let's drop the uh, drop the thumper right there. We're focused. Received. We salute you. On our way. Pulling back. We're about to capture this region. I don't know how this is going to go. He's got a good army coming my way, but let's try and fight him off of it and do scavenger teams and do this as well. So that kind of like screws me though too, because my game plan was that I was going to get help. Um, all right, let's snipe these down if we can. Yeah, the frontline fight, our army's not super strong. We're trying to snipe one of his ships down before it all goes to uh, nothing. And we might have to force a non-aggression with him. Yeah, we, we did a little bit of damage, but overall, you know, there wasn't much we could be we could be doing there. Um, water trap, let's cut the spice harvester. If he tries to move here, we can just Lady Jessica him. Uh, or even do a ceasefire. So we'll let him fight our militia for a second so he eats the turret damage. And then we just do a ceasefire as soon as it's opportune. All right, so the turret is down. We're going to let them tank for a second longer. And then we're going to do a ceasefire there. All right, ceasefire. Perfect. So he can go deeper into the lands if he wants to. But overall, it's um, it's going to be Trixie Hobbitses. Uh, we will need to 2v1 him probs. Smugglers OP. Yeah, and it's like the smugglers have better freaking uh, what's it called than us too. Ecaz is immune to that. We're yeah, we're making a lot of money right now. How's the chum looking? Wow, look at the chome on the smugglers, 22. Hadri's at 22 also. All right, so let's rebuild and let's start trading some influence for um, guild favor. Need to take batteries off Carino. You know what? I should probably just go for a hedge victory, to be honest. Like, screw everything else. We go for hegemony and we just cackle all the way to the bank, right? Let's get rid of this. And we can set up a second missile turret now, which will make that harder to take. Um, we do have enough to make another ceasefire here. And yeah, I think we just have to have to go for a hedge. And try and try and work something out um we can do remote annexation here take the middle and that is going to start building up our authority again if i had built pure military i could fight them better but my military tech is very lacking like i'm just now getting late game military so um yeah and smugglers are just are broken their military is disgusting it's like they, the snipers are insane like their their mothership is the best one in the game i'm pretty sure they're um getting that nerfed at some point 
There was, uh, I heard whispers of that. Okay, so I was betrayed. Who was I betrayed by? By the Emperor? So, yeah, it looks like maybe, maybe the, uh, or maybe I did the betraying? I'm not sure how that actually works. Okay. Pedri's gobbling up Carino territory. Gotta watch his hedge. Yeah, well, you and me both. We're, we're gonna be feasting on him, that's for sure. And I will, uh, force an non-aggression pact if I have to. Alright, so, yeah, I don't want this on me, but honestly, nothing here is great, so... Probably... Yeah, we have the spying. You probably want to get more infiltration cells. And go for the dreaded assassination. One day turn... Uh, what's going on? Oh, hey, puppy, how you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm super focused in this game. Oh, we both betrayed each other, that's funny. Alright, so we saved our influence. Uh, did the spice rates go on me? No, it didn't. Okay, that's good. Um, let's grab that. And, uh, yeah, we really need to get the late-game military check, like the uh, parallel training and all that. Ceasefire, warm call, uh, supply drop. We're so we're going to go take this back area from them, too. And we'll be able to get our mothership soon. The Atreides one isn't that good, unfortunately. Um, let's get another missile turret here. The middle is going to be ours soon, too, which is going to be very funny. So this is this game's gonna get wild, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to get Dune. It's it's a struggle. We have some uh, some. Oh, that's. Are we in a non-aggression with him right now? Yes, we are. We can we can break that. All right. So we'll break that soon, and then we're gonna fly over and steal these fuel cells over here. And do I get nukes in the back pocket? That's the question. How bananas do we truly go? All right. So if I launch these, I'm gonna lose my agents because of the uh, imperial cells. Assassinating really is on the table here. I would be very vulnerable to assassination, but look at that. The smuggler main base is really, really exposed. Like, if he's out of position for one fight, he's going to he's gonna have a bad time. Um, all right, let's shuttle over here and uh, pound this base again real quick. Ah, it's so risky. He's just going to come and, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Trying to make him, making him mad probably isn't good. Yeah, because we... He's, he's doing good on hedge, but Ecaz is also doing well. At your command. Okay, yes. it's, a, it's, it's just a prank. It was just a jump scare. Uh, all right, let's pull back to the main base real quick. I need to keep building up an army, and once I get this, I'm going to be able to do more too. The middle is going to be ours in a second, though, and we're just going to go bananas. Yeah, my spice is kind of low, but it looks like we've been able to pay it. We're going to get the middle, which is going to give us the water extractor. Um, we've got that. Let's grab this to get the influence. We're just going to bank influence to try and get, like, governor, maybe. See how that goes. I don't know. It, it, it could work, I guess. Okay, so we got this new base in the middle, which is awesome. So let's throw down a couple turrets here. So turret and uh, turret. Outstanding. And let's get some heavy militia. So you want heavy militia, like, maxed out, right, in those regions. And since we're Atreides, we can, uh, we can do some cool stuff here, for sure. We can get the water extractor, like, immediately. And um, uh, we probably want to get, like, hedge buildings. Our knowledge sucks so freaking bad, too. Airfields and outstanding. All right, so where do we have hostile units in our territory? Smugglers are creeping around. Uh, we can, we're going to Lady Jessica him if he tries to attack me. I'm just going to force him into a non-aggression pact. And then he'll have to break it again, and, you know, we'll, we'll be cackling all the way to the bank. Is he going to go for the middle? You know, you need to just, you need to just chill out, dude. Because right now, we're going to do a little bit of this. How can All right. I help? There you go. All right. See you later. So he's my ally now, unless he wants to become a traitor. And then if he betrays me, I'm going to do a ceasefire there, which is going to be very funny. So that's the power of Lady Jessica. She can just force non-aggression packs on people with influence. It's pretty nuts, actually. All right. So we got the middle spot. We got all those missile turrets looking nice. Let's get a military base here, too. And uh, up on the top, we're going to shuttle over here. And once we get a couple more dudes, we need to wait for the next cycle to finish before we max that out. All right. Yeah, the splash damage upgrade? Which one is that? Is that on these guys? Let's see. Um, you're talking about the splash damage reduction. That's actually pretty good against the, um, the drones, yeah. Because they do like a ton of AOE damage. All right, so the smugglers uh, have been jessica -ed. We're going to fly over here, and then we're going to take this territory off the Emperor in the corner. Uh, looks like Hadrius is beating him up elsewhere too, but I don't even know. Like, the AI cheats. He's going to be getting, like, very rich and very scary, actually. All right, so we need to stockpile a little bit more. Uh, did I get all these guys geared out? I did. All right, so let's head down here. 
and we're going to break this non-aggression pact with the Emperor. You can always force him into one later, I think. We're extending pretty greedily and pretty deeply. Hadri's, I don't know what Hadri's is doing. Maybe he backstabs smugglers, I'm not sure. We're still just behind um, the smugglers on hedge. Okay, finally, finally we can get this. All right, so we can get the parallel training slots. Now we can actually produce armies at an efficient rate. All right, let's get you guys back, do this. Uh, judge of the council, loss of rights is actually kind of a cute idea. None of these are really that good. House Carino's trying to trade with me. It's just the AI, though. I'm not going to do any trades, because that's basically cheating, in my opinion. Trading with an AI. Like, um, hopefully the other players aren't abusing that. Because, like, the AI is just going to be stupid, right? It it's already, like, terrible, so why, why you know? Why did I make rangers? I should have made heavy weapons teams. Oh, God. His army's probably still better than mine. We'll have to see. All right, so let's fight here. Um, we will get an agent captured if we try this. So let's get you, dive that. Seems to be going okay. And great. So that, that ranged uh, drone should be shut down for now. If I do this, I'm pretty sure I lose an agent. It gets captured. All right, pulling you back. Let's move you over here. Have you chased the flamethrower team? Dude, this is like a Benny Hill, Benny Hill shit right here. All right. Oh, the AI's micro is wild. They just like are running all over the place. It's, uh, it's pretty nuts. All right, we're going to get attacked again soon. We need to like... We need to figure this shit out. All right, let's keep you back here. Have you sit on it. And that army has been forced back. And all right. Looks like there's a worm call too. So I might need to sacrifice an agent just to get this. I'd rather not though. All right. So let's go ahead and hold and we can wait for this because this makes it so 100% chance of detection. Yeah, and when assigned on a faction as well. Okay, a little bit scary. Let's shuttle over here, bring reinforcements. And uh, yeah, there's a worm call here. So the worms could get a little bit nasty. Um, smugglers are just waiting to break the non-aggression pact with me. Have my agents been captured yet? I know there's a 5% chance. All right, um, let's go ahead and just vote for loss of rights here. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. All right, so what's going on here? Hey, you ready for, you ready for round two, smugglers? How about a ceasefire, if you would? All right, let's get another ceasefire going soon. Unfortunately, I think that did tank my agent off. Yeah, you can see our agents have been uh, getting captured here. So we need to do that. And um, yeah, the ceasefire will do its thing. And he's going to be forced back again. And we're going to get this base up here. Hopefully, Hadris will help me with the smugglers soon. Base is going to be ours. Yeah, so a lot of our agents got captured there. Let's go ahead and um, put this up here. And uh, put this down here. All right. Ally agent escaping. All right, they're starting to escape, which is good. Uh, do I have enough for the uh, for the ceasefire again? Let's see. Yep. We're just gonna spam that ceasefire stuff and just be really troll. It's gonna cut another another couple heavy militia and get one here, and uh, we're gonna grab this territory. Oh, I need to stockpile a little bit more. All right. Oh, we just barely paid it. That was close. Okay, so let's go ahead and get double turrets here and get Militia geared out. Um, unfortunately, he's going to come for us again, but the fun part is we can ceasefire him once again. All right, let's get the Kraken. Let's get some Wardens. Let's cut off the supply from that. Get you guys going here and uh, Heavy Militia, uh, turret and turret. Can we build a second turret here? No, the maximum amount reached there. Hold on a sec. All right, so we got the turrets and let's get this. Okay. So he's capturing that region, or he's liberating it. Um, I don't know if we can actually beat him in a fight, but I can ceasefire him. Like, I can get over there and ceasefire him. I can't Lady Jessica him again for... Let's, get to let's see, how long? Um, four days. Okay, so I just need to delay that capture for four days, and then we're chilling. We need to take him down. I'm talking to Hadris, because it's definitely true. Uh, that's being built out, which is cool. Let's get an airfield over there, too. And now we can try and get a... Um, yeah, the Emperor should struggle here. We have a small army. It's not that big, even. And his mothership's just going to junk on us. I don't know if cease firing is going to help here. Unassigned agent, so let's get on counter intel. And, all right, are we going to shuttle down there and try and fight? I think he's got the... Uh, yeah, he killed the airfield, so we, we just got to run for it. I would like to wait for the big ship. How long till we can Lady Jessica him again? Let's see. Uh, it's going to be 1.9 days. That's actually really close. Hadri is setting up. 
I think if I cease fire, it will stop it from being captured. Let's test the waters here. Yeah, I think that slows it down from being captured, and then I can Lady Jessica him again, which is like the trolliest shit. Oh my god, you guys see this? All right, we're gonna drop a worm there. We're honored to serve you. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe he's capturing at the moment, which is really funny. Uh, we have the Carino coming to attack us here. Hopefully our militia will be able to hold. Yep, he's not capturing. All right, so now we force him into Lady Jessica Pact in 0.2 days, and we're golden. This is how you play Atreides, trolling. He's gonna have to betray me to get get this uh, ta this base here. How can I help? Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, <laughs> oh God, that's hilarious. Dude, the Carino AI is like all inning me over here. You guys seeing this shit? What is this? My militia are fighting valiantly, the Atreides militia, but. He says, I don't want to trade. Oh, that's so funny, dude. All right, let's get the turret and let's get the turret here and let's get an airfield. And um, it's going to be a minute before I can break that as well. But Davok, I'm sorry, you have to be my friend. Dude, the Atreides are such a troll faction, man. They're just so troll. All right, so we got to fly over and, and liberate this, uh, save this base here. All right, can we do any remote annexing of territories? Um, we have this one, we have the fuel cells here. That's going to be done. And then we need to get geothermal condensers. That actually would have helped our economy quite a bit. He got Benny Jezereted, dude. All right. So let's throw down. What else do we want to throw down here? A listening post. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. In time. At your command. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Bad sandworm. My Duke. It's the right move. Okay. So we're going to shuttle back over this way. And let's take the Kraken and move back that way. Outstanding. I need a few turns to wait for non-aggro. All right, so trying to trying to scheme it out with Hadris. Carino is uh, trolling us. It's pretty funny that the spirit of our, our fallen player is still going here. Smugglers, wow, okay. Um, can we decline this? Yeah, we can, for sure. The two of us together. I had to use a lot of influence with Lady Jessica there, so you know I'm kind of suffering a little bit. Um, any idle territories I can do remote annexation on? Not that one, not this one. There's nothing really. So winning with Hedge is going to be very hard. Um, I might need to just beat up Carino a little bit. So we're going to go take the Spice Field from Carino and see if we can grab that. Smugglers are doing well, but um, yeah. I think we can actually take on the uh, Emperor's forces. Let's get a ceasefire, Worm, and a Supply Drop for our goodies. And let's go down here. Need to get a couple more units, heavy weapons teams. Our army's pretty small right now, but by the time he attacks again, we should be fine. Yeah, remote annex is fine. Governor deny, I mean, Hadrius is gonna, has way more votes than him, so Hadrius should be able to deny a governor there. All right, so let's grab this. Let's annex it, because it's a nice spice region, and we'll take you guys down. How's Carino trying to trade? And let's hunt these guys, do this, take this guy down, have one range unit go here. Sometimes the clicking is a little bit strange in this, for sure. Uh, let's take these down, too. Those missile turret positions have been really troll. They basically cover two bases worth. It's incredibly strong. All right, so I might jump ahead of him here. It's going to, at the very least, be close. But um, what does he want? Oh, he's just trying to trade with me. No, I'm just declining that. All right, so let's get you guys back, grab this region. And we just hold here, do a little supply drop because it's cute. And um, yeah, what we need here is actually a military base. That would be smart. All right, so let's get a military base for when the inevitable fighting comes. And the nuclear silo of the gods does call to me. Not going to lie. Um, we're oversupply right now. So I need to delete some of these guys, some of the fresh ones I just made. Yeah, I'm, I'm way over. 65, I think, is the max. Oh, deleted the wrong one. Okay, so let's get rid of a warden here. And I don't think Governor passed, although he's pretty close on hedge. Um, how long till I can break this? Yeah, geothermal condensers is on the way. We're going to get this region, then, um, yeah, Hadries and I both are just, like, grabbing Carino territories. It's pretty funny. But we might need to go for the kill here, because I don't know if we're going to have enough hedge to um, to get all this. Is there, Hadries is going to get a special region, which actually will put him up in contention for uh, the hegemony victory. Yeah, so we're we're all kind of just racing right now for the different territories, which is really funny. Uh, I do have the infiltration cells. I could do some spying here. Smug's away from base. 
Yeah, but he's over here. Hadrius is over here, so why would I? Is he attacking Hadrius or something? I'm not sure. Regardless, this is the last base I'm going to be able to take for a hot minute. This is 274. All right, so we're going to grab that. Let's head this way. And um, let's get some heavy militia. And we need to optimize the buildings here. Optimize and optimize. Hang tight until the militia pop up. Uh, let's get a turret. And um, can we get another turret here? Get rid of the spice harvester. We don't care too much about that right now. And let's get another turret. All right. That should be safe. Um, we need to stockpile a little bit more. Dude, we are not happy financially. Let's sell some shares, dude. What do you need? God damn. Go, this is a little bit sketchy. I could get an on aggression here, but I need to save my influence. All right, so I'm going to head over to the smuggler realm. Maybe try a little bit of a base snipe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm behind on hedge. So Hadrian's probably might even be able to squeak out a win. Uh, man, I need the smugglers to fight Hadrian's too. I like how everybody's just cannibalizing the, uh, the disconnected player. <laughs> Yeah, it makes it exciting though, for sure. Um, Riches of Arrakis, we can go for Proud Liberator. And now this base is going to be pretty jacked. Nobody's going to get that from us for sure. God, man, our income sucks. All right, let's get you. Do this. Are we going to be able to pay it? Let's uh, stockpile a little bit more. Jeez. How's our army looking? Let's gather everyone up. At Arakeen, we'll keep you down there. And looks like we are going to pay our spice tax. Oh, just barely. Oh, and we start selling again. All right, so now we're back in the green. Nope, I'm watching the spice. I'm paying attention to it, I promise. Um, all right, let's reveal another siege. Sure, why not? We haven't been able to get like any sieges this game. So, uh, cancel that, actually. It's going to be interesting to see what politics come up next. Um, Smuggler's going to have to go, though, for sure. Because he, um, he is very scary. All right, so 2v1 smugs. 2v1 smugs now. Because Hadrian's and I are basically tied. We're very close. Right We're going to have to get bring down Davok. He is, he, is, he is just too Chad. Right All right, so let's shuttle and... Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I wonder if Hadrian's is going to help me, though, is the question. Or is he just going to... He's at their base. All right, so I'm going to break the non-aggression. We're going to break it. Usually he doesn't let you break when you're in shuttles. Do I have the siege incentives? I do not, unfortunately. All right, so we're both going for his base. Look, look, the smuggler player's under the base. Oh yeah, he knows it's coming too. Uh, we need to get an on aggression with Hadrius. Yeah, we have one. Okay, cool. So our armies won't fight each other. I hope I don't get wormed here. I could definitely get wormed. Um, let's do defense breach. All right, Hadrius, this is where we fight. <laughs> this is it. We gotta kill him here. My sniper rifle is able to fend those guys back. Okay, Hadrius is taking one of the peripheral bases, which is definitely going to slow him down. But I need to be ready to help Hadrius. Uh-oh, the Mortis ship is coming. The Kraken should be here soon, too. Dude, this is really close. It's being liberated, but it could take a little bit too long. Um, all right. So snipers, maybe coming to cheese. I'm not sure. Okay, let's get these guys up. They can snipe this thing from a distance gonna lose it oh god worm no shy halud please i've been wormed okay i lost like a couple units not too bad just like half my army and uh we are going to go ahead and uh just get wormed yeah and come down this way friggin worms dude let's hope i don't get worms on the way over here I uh, wish I had scavenger teams, jeez. All right, so we're going to go try and help out, but I think he's going to hold. All right, let's go, boys. He's probably going to be able to hold us back. Yeah, because the damn worm got so much of my army. Okay, so we're trying to do damage here. We're pulling back. Um, we could do a ceasefire here, which would buy us a little bit of time. Yeah, we, we, we beat up part of the army, but overall it wasn't great. I mean, that was just brutal. The worm ate like a, like a good portion of my army, like 20 manpower or so. Damn worm. <laughs> it's not over yet. We still have a little bit of time, but not a whole lot. All right, ceasefire here. Yeah. That'll save our mothership. So we, we might get like one more run at this here. So we're going to do it. Uh, we have time for one more probs. 
So let's hope it goes a little bit better and I don't get wormed this time. Water Seller's Union? Yeah, sounds good. So let's Water Seller's Union and um, do that. We're going to try and get it. I mean, it's money, so. Smug's Army can't be beat late game. It is It is this, probably the strongest late game army. Yeah, that is that is true. Uh, he's really leaving right now? He's going to go after this base? That's strange. We might be able to cheese his main base if we do that. Because, yeah, I mean, we're still chilling here. That's a very interesting play from him. Because, yeah, he, I mean, he's going to take some damage against those turrets. His base open. He went top. All right. So let's shuttle down here. And let's get some more heavy weapons teams to do that. I do have the defense breaches. And what is he going to try and take that? Oh, that would actually end the game if he got it. But I can Lady Jessica him out of that or ceasefire it. Uh, do I have enough for a ceasefire? I do not. Okay. So I don't know how quickly Hadrius is going to be able to get back together. Uh, let's go ahead and shuttle here. Man, it's going to be close. Is there any bases I can remote annex um, down here? Yes. Okay, so we're going to take that. It's still Hedge. It's still something. Um, he's liberating that base. And now we have the opportunity to maybe bounce up there. Let's go send our mothership up here to attack this and push him off here. And uh, we'll send a couple of the guys coming here as well. Okay. So we're going to try and just take this region. Uh, all right, so we need a non-aggression pact with you. I don't have enough right now. Okay, hopefully soon I will. And let's uh, go ahead and annex this region. So we're going to annex that. And I need to get a non-aggression with these guys. All right, so let's trade. Cool. And uh, yeah, this is uh, not an easy fight. His, not, his whole army isn't here, though. So maybe we can do a little something something. Let's pop the, uh, the worm here, so that'll make it so he can't kite me as easily. Hey, we're doing a little bit of damage, actually. All right. So how are we doing? Yeah, we're sniping down the front liners. So let's click on these guys. Yeah, his army is just so much stronger than mine, dude. I don't even know how an Atreides army could fight that. You don't have any, like, units that are that destructive. Maybe Hadrius will roll up soon. I'm not sure. Um, that base needs to be taken. So let's go over here and see if we can get that. That's basically our only chance is if we can get this. Um, all right. So do we have any militia? We can make an assassin. The assassin might be able to run over there kind of quick. Missile turrets are helping. Come on, Kraken! Oh my god, dude. Is there anything I can do here? I don't think so. I think he just gets this territory too. Uh, all right. So yeah, he's got that base. We're running through the mountains to go stand on top of this to make sure we don't lose it. Uh, is there any... Yeah, we have the remote annex going down. If we could get a special region, we could maybe slip out a win. But we definitely can't afford to lose this. Whoa, why are they stuck moving? There we go. Okay. Let's get the assassin coming over here. Great, so we managed to stabilize that for now. We lost our mothership. Um, it looks like this region's gonna go too, and he's got his flyers coming up here. We have a ceasefire on the table. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, you can beat Smug's late game if they're in your borders. Yeah, if you're attacking them, I don't see how you really do a good job with that. Okay, the assassin's coming, but he's gonna be there a little bit too late. Um, do we have a shuttle? We do not. Unfortunately, he probably gets this region from us, which shields his victory. Although, Hadrius is ahead of me now, too. So, honestly, losing this doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm definitely not going to win this. All right, so we got an assassin going. I mean, maybe Hadrius can pull out a win if he can do something real cheeky. But, yeah, attacking, having to attack with these guys definitely feels like it sucks. All right, so attacks. We have the Proud Liberator. Um, let's go ahead and shuttle down here. See if we can help Hadrius out a little bit. And uh, yeah, we just gotta we gotta distract. Ah, oh, the assassin! It did its job. All right, so we're nowhere in it now. We're basically out. We just have to somehow miraculously hope both these guys will fall. Hostile units and uh, yeah, thumpers there. He's got it. GG, man. Well played, dude. Smugglers are so dirty. Jesus. Yeah, he's got more influence than any of us too. The politics they can play, it's crazy. All right, so let's get more militia here. Let's pop this. He's playing very well, too. Like, his micro and his engagements and everything are, like, super clean. Uh, GG. Uh, GG. Let me find the GG key. GG, well played. You probably have to aggress them early before they get their mothership. I'm feeling as if that might be the, uh, the key. We got our haggard region down in the south, guys. The big plays. Uh, let's throw a militia in there, and we can throw a turret. And a turret. Yeah, maybe craft workshops, too, would have been good to do. Like, go for some of that action. Dude, I love that I can just, like, build this out. It's so cool. Well played, man. Yeah, nasty stuff, dude. He showed he showed us the power. All right, so let's resolve this. Resolve this. I'll fly down for one last attempt, I guess. 
We don't have much, you know, we got a little something something. Yeah, Carino not being here definitely threw a wrench in things too. We needed Carino to take down the smugglers because Carino was pretty Chad. His armies were very scary. Uh, what do we got? 29.1? I could go recapture this, although, oh my god, look at our authority! Oh, that vote went through. Oh, so nobody can expand. Okay. All right, Hadris, is this our last march to war? Unrest? Dude, it's just it's just bad. It's just all falling apart. Yeah, GG, guys. So that was a fun game. A lot to learn. But Atreides seemed cool. I think the biggest strengths are the Lady Jessica and um, the defensive capabilities they can do. Absolutely nuts. Let's look at the ecos of all the players. I think the smugglers probably crushed us economically. Oh, uh, they jumped up and then they tanked back down. So it looked like the Ecos were kind of like, mine went, got really bad there at the end. But um, yeah, overall, GG well played. Great game. Solid stuff. All right, so we're going to do another one. And I'm going to play Fremen. I know how to play Fremen, so that should be good. It's a great lobby. And private lobby, turn game round two, battle for Arrakis. Daybok is really good. He, he's gotten to the finals both times. GG well played. All right, so... Uh, start a car. Three spots. New players. No one from last round. All right. So we got three spots up. We're going to be bringing Shai Hulud's blessings. We're going to go for Shani and um, Stilgar. And let's get it, dude. Let's go. Fremen, uh, Fremen have been my favorite lately, dude. I've been having so much fun with the Fremen. They're really fun. If others can win passively defensively. Yeah, I feel like the Atreides become, like depending on the lobby, like the matchups. Like if there's other political powerhouse factions, I feel like they can fall off. But if you can like sit back and chill, I think I think you can do well. Um, yeah, Poppy, I'll do a Total War tournament soon. I don't know when, but sometime in the next, uh, next couple uh, months. Oh, weeks, months, soon. I'm definitely more, for Total War, I'm like waiting to see uh, I'm waiting to see some, uh, you know, some new stuff. And the, the patch today had some good changes in it, though. There were some of the changes that we suggested to them, but they didn't really do as many as I would have liked, but it is what it is. Um, Allied, in the future, if you want to join Dune games, you just need to be in our Discord, and I, I just do pings. You just need to have the Dune roll and the Sardaukar roll. All right, uh, ready up? So let me explain how this works. Stilgar gives you one authority for every spice field you have, and Shani makes it so you can incite rebellions on lands red. It's really nice. So you can just spam rebellions in people's lands and then attack. All right. Oh, yeah. Now we announce it in the Discord. Yeah. Because a lot of games, like, if you make them public, people come and they leave. As soon as one bad thing happens to them, they just leave. And then the AI, like, last game became substantially worse when we had a player disconnect. Because then the power dynamic of the whole game is off. It's like, it makes defending super easily. Like, the smuggler player then had a really, really easy 2v1. Because on the defense, like, snipers and the mortis engine ship, dude, it's brutal. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, no, Warhammer isn't dead. It's it's not in the best shape, though, like it's been. You know, like, there's a lot of, a lot of issues. Um, yeah, if only multiplayer got more support in it, man. I mean, I've been doing it for years, and I, it always bums me out. It's like there's so much potential in Total War multiplayer, but the lack of dedicated servers is probably one of the biggest issues I have with it. It's so frustrating, the lag, and just like, oh, man. Uh, this lady also gives a lot of early influence. Not influence, she gives um, uh, the uh, espionage stuff. All right, so we're, we're going to do uh, Fremen. Let's pause, get some warriors, and get an ornithopter. We're taking the dub on this one, baby. We're doing it for Shai Halud. Let's go. No more games. All right. So everybody's in. And uh, let's let's have some fun. All right. So we're going to go scout. And um, here is a spice field for us. So Fremen, uh, you build harvesting caravans. You can all also take spice in regions that are not owned by yourself, which is uh, which is pretty great. You can also pillage as Fremen, which is huge. You know, they that's a ton of money early on that, you know, you miss out on when you're on Atreides. Desert power, baby. That's right. The desert power is coming. We'll get, their water. we'll get their water. Yes, we will get their water indeed. Getting the water tech from... Oh, dude, I love being able to get water for free as Fremen. It's really nice. Like, you don't have to build the, build the tech for the wind traps. Nanny says, go easy. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm coming to feast. 
You shouldn't have told me. The the blood the blood is uh, gonna be spilled here. Shai Halud is hungry. Shawnee's rebellions are really good. Uh, Hadri's played last game. He played last game. All right, so that region is gonna be ours. Oh, rare minerals, not bad at all. All right, so definitely triple ornithopter opening to get knowledge of the map. And for here, we want to get the, um, yeah, that's not bad. And we can do this and uh, get Arrakis' secrets. Uh, Freedom Fighters and then Arrakis' secrets, like that. Yeah, that's, that's the opening I usually like here. Let's go ahead and get a harvesting team and go get this. So this just gives us plastic production, which is really nice. The other ones, uh, this gives us cheaper annexing of villages. And then from there, we get the uh, the one that reveals all the spice fields and the freedom fighters, which gives us money for every single neutral village. It's a very nice early economic push. It's, it's like the Fremen are kind of pre-Paul Fremen, but they, they're like the Fideikin are Paul's death commandos and they're your elite unit. So it, it's kind of a bit of a mix. Arrakis is our home. As they're like pillaging the villages. That's going to happen soon for sure. All right. So let's go ahead and get Plasker here. Um, water there, not super good. Water here in this region is great. And the Harvesting Caravan can just go over there. And every controlled region that we have with Spice gives us plus one authority. So Fremen can be like the Dark Lords of Hegemony for sure if they want to. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get this. Their villages have less population though. Or not population, but building slots. Uh, so you can't go as crazy there. Uh, what is this? Uh, recruitment office, which is cute. Um, any regions we want to pillage so far? Not yet. We got some intel, but yeah, early Fremen aggression I think is very strong. I think it can be very, very powerful. You know what? The manpower one might be good for building more harvesters. So maybe we save up for that and just go pillaging in the meantime. I think that's going to be the plan. So we'll go pillage down here. And uh, yeah, looks good, man. I wonder what the next faction will be. Um... Hard to say. I mean, there's a couple like House Ordos and uh, oh, there's one that like, I forget off the top of my head from the original um, Dune games. They had a couple that they could work with. It depends if they want to pull only from the original source material or the extended universe that was written by Frank Sun. I don't know, I think they could pull, I mean, Ekaz is mentioned in the first Dune book. It's like one sentence, Ekaz is in one sentence. Uh, but Ekaz gets covered more in the um, in the expanded universe. So there's that. So we're going to do some pillaging here. And uh, you just want to pillage regions that don't really have any unique supplies and those things. And, you know, then you're good. Yeah, I, I would like them to add Maudiv. Yeah, have Polytrades be a uh, like a hero character for the Fremen that you could actually use. Or maybe a counselor, too. I don't know what would be ideal. But all right, let's get the water. Let's do a little bit of pillaging. I'm literally fully walled in by Deep Desert, I think. That's good. That's good for you. Yeah, so he's playing a faction that can use them as walls. Can use them as walls for... Yeah, he already knows. Okay, I don't need to explain. So how are we looking? And um, Desert Wisdom too. Yeah, we need to get that. So Arrakis Secrets and Desert Wisdom after that. Desert Wisdom gives you knowledge based on your water, so it's uh, it's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, all right, so we'll throw a maintenance setter down in a second. This region is okay. I definitely want this uh, special region though. And we're going to be aggressing early on people, though. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty crunk. Hey, Puling, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. All right, so we have our spice harvester going. We have the Harkonnen near us, which is very, very fun, lore friendly. Raiding the Harkonnen is always uh, good on the fields. Did I just forget to put that agent in? No, it, it looks like it just popped in. Okay, so we're going to take this because it has a uh, special uh, recruitment office tech. So that'll let us get the manpower we need. Any more spice fields? We'll reveal the location of spice fields soon. All right, let's get one of our range units. Go back there and throw a heavy militia there to make sure we don't lose it to anything. <clears throat> yeah, Ekaz is a very good faction. I mean, honestly, every faction in this game can be played well and do well. All right, revealing sieges is really important with Fremen. So here we already found one, which is great. Um, so we're gonna have a siege reveal soon because you can ally them no matter where they are and it gives you a ton of unique stuff. Yeah. All right, so that's going fine. Um, saving Plascrete for main base buildings. That's why I'm not really spending it on kind of miscellaneous things. Uh, do we want to get Plascrete here? Let's take this. We do have the research hub limit in this region. That's not bad at all. So probably a maintenance center is prudent here just to kind of cheapen the cost of the goodies. All right, maintenance center. And up here we have the Plascrete. 
Eventually we're going to get this fuel cell region because for Fremen it gives you a really nice trait. It gives you army damage, which is really strong. Yeah, we're going to try and ride the worm to victory, man. Um, who's playing Harkonnen? We have a uh, Seamer here. All right, very cool. So perhaps some aggression there. Craft Workshop Hegemony, not bad. So we got to keep an eye on that. Main base can now build. So how do we want to play Fremen? Um, probably Spice Fremen is pretty good. So I think we're going to go with the... Um, we don't have that many spots, man. Yeah, we're gonna go for the main, like, main region to be our uh, eco here, so. All right, let's get this. And um, we can pillage, we can go pillage this. Talking with the locals here will reveal a siege, which is awesome, so we're gonna go do that. Outstanding, and so far so good. Yeah, we're, we're having a decent start. We need more manpower though, so we can go get all the goodies. I hope current uh, turn doesn't confuse me with Dandy again. No, no, you're good. I, I know the difference now. I know the difference, don't worry. So this is going to reveal a siege for us instantly, which is super, super good. All right, um, we can't really do anything votes-wise, so I'm just going to try and get that with my pitiful votes that I have. The Fremen don't really play politics super well, obviously. Um, that region looks good. Arrakis is Secrets, we have Freedom Fighters, so that's going to be giving us plus 20 resources right now, which is great. Who is close to us? So we're like top of the map. We have the Harkonnens near us, we know that. All right, and Siege has been revealed. So let's resolve that. And we want to start trading with them right away. And outstanding. Do a little bit of pillaging here. So let's uh, replenish our supplies. This one will reveal a Siege also. So yeah, once we fully ally with the Siege here, it's going to be giving us 2% of uh, resources in special regions. It's also giving us knowledge, which is great. So Desert Wisdom will be coming as well. So let's go raid this. Another siege is going to be revealed to us, and soon we will see where all the spice fields are, and we can build another spice harvester. And power building here, obviously, pretty important. And uh, only one water in that region. That's pretty wild. Yeah, that's it. Jeez. Um, all right, so we could just build a... Hmm. Let's wait and see. We'll be we'll be patient. Let's go back there, snipe that character. And do we go for this? Um, you don't need to own the spice field to get the spice from it as the Fremen. Early Fremen soldiers are also pretty good. They do some nice work. Oh, hello. Harkonnens. Okay. I am more than happy to fight the Harkonnens early if they want to. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and attack here and try and save our warrior. Okay, so we're pulling back. And yeah, we're going to... We're not going to let the Harkonnen take that either. So we're going to we're gonna move there, and if they try and get it... I was just going to pillage that, but... Uh, I probably want to save that for a Spice Harvester, though. I think that's going to be more prudent. All right, so we're healing up here. Going to need some more manpower here soon, so let's get another manpower building here. And we see special resources, a spice field up here. So let's get a harvester and move over there. And Shai Halud is getting ready to ride around. Whoa, we actually, military developments are 50% faster. Okay. Yeah, that's, we're not like going to be going too hard in the military. All right, we have another siege. Let's do this. This one gives us militia health, which is great. And now we have um, a talk to the locals here. So let's do that and get another siege under our belt. And we can come down and raid this village, although that one is still recovering from the previous raid. This way it looks good. The Fremen are tyrants. It's <laughs> pretty funny. He's, he's already already spreading the propaganda. I love it. Oppressing their brothers and sisters. Yeah. Well, yeah that's, that's how we roll. Let's get a heavy militia over here. All right. So where are the spice fields? We have one down here. This one's a little bit safer. Let's go for that. And then we need to get the spice field up here on top. Um, that one, eh, That one might be better, actually. So let's go here and here. And have it go that way. And for you, you guys go nail this. Our economy is okay for now. We're about to get the wind traps, which is going to give us um, a good amount of uh, knowledge, hopefully. Another special region here. I think, I think I just pillage this, and then I go north and take that. We're definitely going to be hitting the Harkonnens hard, though, at some point. I don't know when, but it's, it's going to go down. We're going to be riding Shai Halud to a glorious victory, hopefully. All right, so maybe a missile turret here wouldn't be a bad idea considering the Harkonnens are nearby. Um, yes, let's do that. I hate building early missile turrets, but in this case, considering they're like right on the border, you got to be careful, you know. All right, let's pull the warrior back. Being good. You're heading over to the spice. Main base building is done, so I need to get the second one as soon as possible if I can. Yeah, Leto, Leto, the Paul's son is is the uh, is the scary worm man. Yes. Well, not actually scary, but I mean, physically, I'm sure he's a little bit scary, but you guys get the idea. 
All right, so let's cancel this actually and get another spice harvester. So we want to get all those spice fields as quickly as possible. They're actually taking this region, uh, which is going to be a, a prime target for us to raid, like super good. Okay, let's head up top. We have revealed another siege. So that one's going and this one is going to go as well. That gives us warrior uh, buffs, cool. All right, so we've done the goodies. So now it's not a bad idea to get the um, to get the chome like tech, not the chome tech, but the spice gathering, uh, and then we can get the fremen solidarity, and then we just go all in on military from there. Is is my game plan? All right, so do we want another heavy militia in here? We do, and probably should be paying attention to village traits. We could go for this. It's only fifty for that, and you come down here and jump on that. Okay, and this region's pretty sweet too. Um, this one is six water and a rare minerals. I mean, that's that's prime time. So we are now harvesting spice. Ooh, plascrete for house house troopers. That could be something we potentially evaluate taking. Take the free military tech here. Yeah, surrounding the deserts is, is very difficult. It's very difficult. So Harkonnens, we don't know who's on the other side yet. Um, we're not sure. We'll find out in due time. All right, so the troops are doing it. We are secure there. The turret would prevent any Harkonnen aggression out of the gates. So let's restructure this a little bit. Um, we're going to build a maintenance center here, take the maintenance center out of here, and we can build a... Um, what do we even want to build here? Probably a... Um, okay, we need to retreat with you. Being a little bit sloppy. Almost lost the guy. Yeah, um, so we're going to incite rebellions on this one and try and get it passed. So if that passes, it's going to create a rebellion in everybody's base nearby. Come on, guys. Finish it off. There you go. All right, that's what I get for not focus firing. And we take it. Okay, we lost one warrior. That was sloppy, but you know, not the end of the world. All right, manpower. And let's get another harvester. So currently we have several spice fields being worked. We need to capture them. So we're going to get this um, rare mineral region, and then we need to get this region too, because that will allow us to get more authority. That's how the Fremen work with Stilgar. Yeah, he's he does some nice stuff for the old spice fields. All right, so one, two, three. There's one over that direction too, which you, you want to grab the spice while you can. It's going to start getting taken. Yeah, let's actually go for that. Although, do we want to? We don't have a lot of money, so I'm going to take the two House Legionary units so we can potentially fight off the Harkonnen. Because they're not going to be easy prey, that's for sure. All right, so heading down to the south. We have these House Legionnaires now, and we have you. Let's get you on the Spice Field over here, which is going to be pretty crazy. And the Sieges should be on the way. Chome integration. Yeah, that's good. Good, good, Anakin. We have these cool units now. Um, we could go raiding Harkonnens. I don't think it's time yet. We don't have enough like enough troopers. All right, Landsrad. So we're gonna try and pass this to force a rebellion. And if it does pass, then we can um, we can basically just get super super aggressive. All right, Arrakis information agents. Let's get that free trooper there. We've got the free military tech, which finishes survival training. Very nice. And yeah, now we got four spice fields early on. I mean, that's pretty pretty sweet. No complaints. Uh, up top, let's go ahead and get water. Water is knowledge for the Fremen, so we need that. And let's get a heavy militia there so it doesn't die to something random. We are listening. And uh, yeah, let's go pillaging. Let's go try and get some money. All right. So we're going to head down this way and go to the middle and do that. Um, although, yeah, we don't need to own the territory as the Fremen to get the uh, perk. Maybe we wait for the water to build and then we'll go out and attack so our troops can go further. Okay. Uh, we definitely need more plasteel buildings. We're pretty lacking in that. Very potato. Um, raiding Harkonnens here would be pretty hard to do with the size of my army as it is. Usually waiting till you get 10k hedge is a good idea to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab the... Uh, yeah, we want to grab the Spice Field region down there. The one up top and see if we can get that. We do have this for more authority if we want to. This region would be 99. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna make a bit of a journey there. It's gonna take some time, but I think it'll be worth. It's kind of so spoiled by the Atreides. If I surround this deep desert, I mean that's really good. That's why I'm partially trying to target the Harkonnens a little bit. I mean I haven't targeted them yet, but if the time does come, um, you know that's that's the plan. Arrakis is our home. So go refill your water up here, buddies. Let's get the free eco tech here. We've gotten the warrior, so let's bring him up. And now we can go ahead and get the processing plant to get some money online. And our knowledge is now up to seven, and uh, it did pass, so that creates a rebellion. See, in the back, there's a Fremen rebellion in his base, so he is going to be hemorrhaging manpower for now. And you guys are supplied up, so let's go down here. 
Uh, do we have the supply drop? We do not. I could also just ride a worm over there. I think we can make it. I think with 19 water, it should be should be adequate. Yeah, look at the Fremen hegemony, though. Not hegemony, but um, income they get from uh, authority. It's pretty nuts. So military developments are slowed down. Economy is sped up, which is great. So we're focusing on eco right now, so that's, that's huge for us. Shared transcendence is pretty good. Yeah, man, I'm getting a little greedy, though. I'm going to need to turn on the military soon. So they're going to make it, I think. It's going to be tight. There are four guys there, so it's going to take a while, but I do have a good good quality army there. Yeah, I don't have space in guild, so unfortunately I can't get those uh, drops. And we'll get another main base building here in a second. All right, come on, boys. Okay, let's fight. All right, so that should kill them quick enough that we can take that region. Hopefully the Harkonnen don't respond. Let's get a worm. In case they do, we can you know try and worm troll them a little bit. Supplies running a little bit bare, but I think we're barely going to get it. It's going to be tight. Man, I thought I had enough water to make that trek, but I guess I should have rode Shai Halud. It would have been a little faster. I don't think I'm going to lose anything. It's going to be close. But we are going to get it before we lose units. All right, so let's take this over. Good. Chom. It's fun. It's so funny to me that you can play Chom as the Fremen. It's hilarious. Uh, all right, and uh, yeah. We just barely held on there. Our Conans could really come up here and ruin our momentum right now. If they came and appeared and just took this from us before we got it, that'd be really bad. I don't think he was watching, though, so I think we're fine. All right, another main base building. We need to grab this on the way out. And then we can go grab the fuel cells down here, the ceremonial caves. This is going to give us another, um, another uh, what's it called? Yeah, max out on heavy militia right away and get a turret there. All right, perfect. And get our supplies maxed out before we leave. We grab this. And do we want to get the intel in the desert? Hmm. That's pretty good, too. A thousand gold, though, to spread propaganda. An interesting offer. We need more plasteel. Let's get that. Yeah. Turrets would be fun if they were stealth. Yeah, that would be cool. Space and guild will give us the supply drops we're looking for. All right, so we're going to run back this way. And what other regions do we want to get? Um, unfortunately, no, this this one is fine. The Emperor is going to push us off that spice field eventually, probably. We could put manpower into this. Um, not a bad idea. All right, so we get a bunch of authority, which is awesome. So now we're going to leave across the desert here. And we need to save up Plasteel for our uh, next tier building. Yeah, we got a turret, though, and three heavy militia. That should be enough. And we can all, always ride the worm over, right? To party. Um, this knowledge region could be very good too. It has high water and also. Um, ooh, yeah, siege could be revealed there too. Okay, so we're on our way to allying a couple sieges already. We have the Fremen Solidarity, which is going to give us agent recruit speed. And uh, where is our nearest spice field? Right here. So let's manpower this one out to increase the spice efficiency there. <clears throat> and how far did we get? Yeah, we're pretty maxed out there. Good. And wouldn't it be funny to get a Chome victory with the Fremen? That would be strange, wouldn't it? You can do it. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll try mixing in an Infiltrator. I'm down for that. Sounds fun. You got to micro them, though. They die very quickly, which is something that I always... Uh, I'm used to playing Harkonnens, where your stuff's pretty tanky. So, yeah. That's a lesson learned. All right, let's get water here. Our water is at 16, but Fremen's water's, like... It goes quickly because of how fast you expand. It's it's pretty nuts. All right, so heading over this way, we can get that. We'll talk to the locals, but we want to get that village first. And uh, all's good in the neighborhood. Can't Fremen get an armory upgrade for basic warriors that gives him an uh, infiltrator attack bonus? I'm not sure. Perhaps they can. Yeah, Harkonnens are going to get raided pretty hard though. Eventually, I don't know when. But we're gonna give them we're gonna give them a little razzle dazzle. Once we get 10k, hopefully we get it before them. We can then get the Fidakin, which are gonna be you know really really powerful. Um, all right, let's get research here, get a knowledge hub, and take this region. That's also gonna give us some knowledge. A little intel for us. Um, hidden thumpers are nice and cool. So spying logistics ain't bad. We could drop that. That might actually be a good idea, just to get the agent recruit speed, and then we just go down military. All right, that should coincide with us getting 10k. Uh, let's vote Harkonnens. Let's see, yeah, I'm gonna vote Harkonnens here. <coughs> we are listening. All right, so heading down south, we've got this. Um, let's go ahead and drop another Plasteel building since we're really, really bad on Plasteel. Over on the far side, looking okay. So yeah, we're now we get Militia Health 50%. Uh, we get uh, special region resources. 
and we get uh, warrior recruitment cost. So yeah, the sieges are starting to pop off, which is great. Are we losing anything? No. Oh, here, here we go. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and break camp, flee the scene. Oh yeah, the emperor. Uh, he sniped one of our spice harvesters out there. That's unfortunate. So yeah, we got our three spice fields for now. I'm happy with it. Two of them are rather secure. Um, probably want to secure another one. So let's go up here and secure the spice field if we can. It's very close to Carino, but Carino, um, man, I have like two really, really lucrative choices to dive in and try and kill. You know, it's um, it's Ducky. Ducky looking awfully suspicious here. Let's actually just get the, the ceremonial caves first. All right, so we're going to try and get Harkonnen with the spice punishment. Let's get some more warriors. Um, this region has got its water, and then we can get a spice harvesting silo there. Yeah, I really need to save up the plasteel. I've been really, really lax with that. We are listening. The siege is under attack. It's taking over. Okay, so we have the alliance here. Let's grab this. Ceremonial caves are great. They can give you some goodies for sure. Um, Harkonnen Zoo. Yes. Okay. We won't waste time. Little Harkonnen attack. I, I like it. My militia, though, are very jacked because I have the uh, HP bonus. So this is a good opportunity for us in some ways, and I'll show you why. So we go here, and then we go into the desert. Nice. We go into the desert, like so. We take the Thumper, and we Shy Halud on over here, and beat up some Harkonnens. Um, you guys aren't going to make it to the Worm Ride, so you're just going to have to go the old-fashioned way. And then we can bring them down here to raid. Dude, my militia are crushing that Harkonnen army! Holy shit! Oh... Baron, you've made you've made a a, bear, a mistake. Shai Halud emerges from the earth. Oh man, this was overkill. I guess we didn't need it because we have fifty percent militia health. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. All right, it's it's raiding time. All right, so we're gonna come down here, try and get this. We're gonna go kill a spice harvester with these ones, and now it's you make one mistake against the deadly fremen, and uh, you know the troll toll is gonna be paid. Although, oh, I'm kind of low in supplies. We gotta run back to ship. I'm the one making mistakes now. All right, let's pull back here. And yeah, supply drop will be up. I think we lose one unit from supply here. They're probably all gonna make it back. Okay, we're fine. So we're gonna gather a crumping force. Okay, everyone survived. Ooh, that was close. Have you guys do this. And spying logistics is complete. He says, what are you feeding those boys? I know. The missile turret plus all that was pretty scary. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and get the... Uh... Dude, the worm ride is, is pretty good. Let's grab this base, uh, and yeah, it's Harkonnen in time. My opponent building a military base, which is very smart. I should probably just do the same thing. Monkey see, monkey do. I'm, I'm copying. So we're going to grab this territory um, up here. How are we looking? Let's get the water. What is that special region anyways? Yeah, 6% of the village's upkeep is knowledge. That's not bad. Alright, so everyone's going to heal up here, and this base should be ours. We'll grab that. It's time. Let's get Fremen Sabotage. Shai Hulud Express in full effect. Let's get the free military tech here. And um, then we can get the Ceremonial Caves. We can also just grab this, which is going to put us up to 10k hedge. Let's go get that. Screw it. Yeah, let's just grab whatever we can here. Ah, I keep wasting all my Plascrete instead of developing my main base. Oh, the Dune movies were so good. Just masterpiece. Masterpiece. Honestly, I would say that's been my favorite movie of like modern times. All right, so this region is now ours. So let's slap some heavy militia in there, and uh, we'll get a plasteel building. Ready for and yeah, we'll try and actually develop that plasteel economy. Received. All right, so they're going to hustle up this way. Yeah, Harkonnens are definitely going to be in some trouble, I think. I don't know what kind of army they've mustered, but my army is very big for the early game. Let's grab this. And we need to get a maintenance center over in that region to lower the cost of buildings. And now the siege is friendly. Yeah, cool. So warrior uh, recruitment time is quicker. And there's another siege reveal. Okay. Army logistics about to finish. Chome market's opening up. I'm tempted to get into Chome. Uh, spaceship parts. Very cool. And let's get a turret here. What else do we want? Okay, so the army tech is going. I need to. Why are these guys running out of supply? They're like in friendly lands. All right, so we have a, a Plascrete special region now, so finally we can get some good Plasteel production. Landthrad, so we're going to incite Rebellion and try and get that to pass. It's really good to time those Rebellion pushes with um, with your aggression, obviously, if you can. Life is in the 
So we got manpower, so let's gear that one out. This one's safe also, so let's gear that one. And we have one more, which is a little bit less safe, but we can throw and uh, optimize our spice flow too. Okay, so the Fremen are expanding well, I would say. It's going good for us. Let's head down here. Some of the units in our army won't heal because they're mercenaries. Uh, counter intel? No, we're fine. We're just going to go into ch uh, chump. At your service. And we're going to just try and worm our way over to this base. Ready. We have our military base already. Um, I could straight up ride the worm, which I think I'm going to do. Because they won't see it coming that way, right? And there's a cool uh, strategy you can do with Fremen. Let me show you real quick. All right, so we're going to do this, and we are going to ride down here. Like, right next to that. Good. I don't know why the Emperor is so hostile with me. We're friends, bro. I don't know what the Emperor is being so aggro about. So this is one of my favorite things with Fremen. I sometimes screw it up and eat my own troopers, but... Oh, that's so cool! It's like in the book! They attack with the storm. All right, so we're going to beat up these Harkonnens. And uh, the missile turret... Oh, the missile turret is turned off by the storm! How cool is that? That is a hell of a lot of militia there, though. Oh my goodness. All right, so yeah, we did that, and the Harkonnens will probably be responding soon. So we want to lay down a decoy thumper here. And the reason you do that is because when the Harkonnens come to try and defend it, they're going to get eaten by Shai Halud. See, so here they come. Ooh, that's a good army, actually. We might actually be in some trouble here. We'll have to see. We're going to try and fight it. I did not expect them to have that much. All right, let's do this. Shai Halud's trying. Um, the Fidekin are kind of... Oh, we don't have Fidekin yet. Yeah, so we're just going to peace out. He had, like, five heavy militia there. Jesus, that was that was a raid boss base to kill. So we're going to peace out of there. Um, now we can get Fidekin. So this is where we can get really nasty. All right, let's support this. Harkonnen's being extra evil. But we did kill all the militia, which is going to cost him a ton of manpower for sure. Uh, let's choose this. And we have another main base building we can do. So let's go ahead and get the... Um, Let's get the Plascrete and Solari. Let's get the Chome Branch to try and just get a big economic lead. And now that we have 10k Hedge, we can spam better troopers than they can make. Which hopefully will make a difference. It might not. It might not. That's for that's for damn sure. What does this region give us? Crafts Workshop and also water? Nice. Okay. So we're making the big scary troops now. We managed to save our, our house uh, legionnaires, which is cool. Three Solari per statecraft building. And um, I think our business is adequate. We need to get a... Uh, maintenance center there in the middle too yeah Carino is going to be a problem as well um ecaz is moving towards Carino though so i'm kind of hoping that they're gonna deal with that it's really hard to push into land i know i was pretty unfortunate timing his lands are at guard appeared right when i attacked but you know i should have taken that new account uh all right so we got some renegades down there the renegades of funk let's get some more fidekin just have this big scary goon squad go pillaging a little bit and the rebellion has now happened in the Harkonnen lands from the Fremen descent, which is awesome. And we have a renegade base, which we could get spaceship parts from if we want. Um, how much is that going to be? Recycling plant. Yeah. I definitely should do it. So we're going to go do some raiding. And uh, the spaceship region. Where did we want to get the maintenance center? Yeah, it was there in the middle. All right. So let's go do some raiding. Try and get a little bit more sauced. Uh, main base building is underway. The Chome Branch will give us uh, some big, big money at some point. And now we yeah, we, we just need a lot of Plasteel, man. We, we need more. More Plasteel! All right, Maintenance Center. We'll reduce the cost of the buildings there. And let's pillage that. Do this. Uh, get on Chome. Have to worry about assassination from Harkonnens for sure. It could happen. They, they can get pretty crunk. So we're going to have to put some respect on that. Military tech is finished. And that tech is finished too. All right, so we finished all the basics. Um, let's go ahead. Heirs of Arrakis is for the deep desert. I know that's cool. Let's get the shared transcendence since we're about to get some fuel regions. Or not fuel, but uh, ceremonial caves. Ceremonial caves give you um, damage to your troops. So we're going to go grab this other one as well. He says, Fremen, I'm in your walls. <laughs> that's funny. You're not supposed to be listening to the stream. <laughs> not, 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 you know my strategy. You better not be listening. I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, all right, let's get some warriors. So let's go this way and head across there. Uh, Carino, don't know what they're up to. Ikaz is on the bottom. Aniori doing God knows what. And uh, we have water in this region. Now we can finally build that blessed uh, Air Force base here. Fremen Air Force One. Let's go grab this. 
And um, yeah, Siege is friendly. We just need to save up more resources to get, get the goods that we're looking for. Heading across, our water is still respectable, and we can grab several regions, including our spice field here, so hopefully the Emperor will um, take it easy with us and be our homie. Just get a money building. Screw it. Basically, it costs nothing. So, the only other person who has the next tier of units are um, are the what's it called? Are the uh, ECAS on the bottom. So, Fidekin are going to be very powerful right now. Very, very powerful. Compared to the uh, units that we're seeing on other factions. All right, so how are we looking here? Yeah, do we not have a maintenance center here? I could have sworn we had one. Huh, weird. All right, maintenance center. You want to have your whole empire covered in maintenance centers. Okay. I will be a homie if you help with eco. Uh, what you need? What do you need? The Fremen are here to help. Obviously, there's no hostile intentions ever. It's going to be kind of hard to hold these territories. What do you need, money? Oh, he's trying to trying to buy me? Trying to buy the Fremen? You know, they, they, care, they only care about the water. All right, make some skirmishers. And uh, yeah, we're just clearing this out, trying to grab these territories. He's, he's got the spacing guild one, so he's going to get a spaceship very quickly here, which is tough. Um, but here we've gotten this, so let's slap the base there. We can build some ceremonial caves for the damage. And now we are chilling. All right, so we're going to get the spice field, finally. House Legionary, we still have one alive from the earlier conquests. Yeah, Fremen can expand pretty nuts, but you have to be careful. You can make yourself public enemy number one if you jump up to 20k too fast. All right, so that's going. And uh, how are we looking on manpower? Not too super hot right now. Let's grab this, get another manpower building here. Ooh, water production is plastery. Oh, is, is income. Yeah, we do have that. Nice. So we're going to run back to the base, and um, the Ceremonial Caves will give us no several yeah. points of knowledge, too. Alright, and let's max this out with Militia and get a Missile Turret here when we can. We'll just throw down Plasteel. Uh, nothing too special in that region, so. Alright, so we've officially, like, used most of our, um, our goodies. We need to maximize our Spice Building here. Uh, we don't have any military buildings quite yet. Another Siege can be revealed. Good. Ceremonial Caves are also good in some ways, though, because they give us knowledge and income. But yeah, it, it does drag down your spice income, but you can counter that by building the um, the plus 15% building, because each of them is going to give you minus 5%. So it basically just bounces it out and gives you a ton of um, knowledge and other stats, which I think are worth. Could be wrong, for sure. Yeah, we want this one. Money per controlled village? Hell yeah, give, give, me, the, give me that, Joe. So how rich is everybody? Our Conans are at 8k. Wow, we need to slow their breaks. Jeez. Very, very rich. That is huge. All right, maintenance center. And uh, I could get a non-aggression with the Emperor. That'd be really funny. All right, it's it's time for round two. It's worming time. So let's get some actions. That has gone. Shared Chen's engines is done. Um, we probably want to... So we have the good spying logistics. So now let's go down here and just go for this and try and get some karate chopping going. We're going to put someone on counter intel just to be safe. But yeah, we got a lot of regions going now. We're feeling pretty good. All right, so that's going to be three. Uh, do we care to get a turret there? I don't think a turret would even help us that much. Uh, we get income per slurry building, so let's get a listening post here because it doesn't hurt. Low water, really. Jeez. Yeah, Fremen get, go through their water really fast. Listening. Very active out in the deserts, as you know. Siege. Yeah, that one's our homie. This one is not our homie, and that gives us military uh, power plus 10%. Wow, that's really good. So let's get some Fidekin upgrades, although I'm a little bit poor at the moment. So I need to get aggressive here, because I'm heavily invested in military. And if I'm not using it, then, you know, we're, we're a potato. Yeah, I don't want to fight the Emperor, because I'm not really, like, heavily defending on that side. Um, maybe getting a Fidekin upgrade could be worth, although that's going to be 20% Solari upkeep. Yeah, probably, probably none of the upgrades here are going to be super good. All right, so Harkonnen in time. We probably just take that region and then worm it before they can get there. Um, we could go down here. So the cool part about Fremen is you can really like pounce in any number of directions. All right, let's go um, get ready to ride Shai Halud. Although it honestly is just right there. Let's just run over there and do it. Main base building, we can get the um, Temple of Al-Gaib. We're going to go after this base. 
We're gonna move past it first. We'll drop a thumper. Harkonnens are probably just chilling nearby. Oh, perfect timing. They got a rebellion. Yes. Although, wait, that's one of their rebellions. Oh, they're fine. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and drop the worm. And butcher the uh, defenders, hopefully, quickly. If they don't see the worm, Shai Hulud's going to feast pretty hard. Uh-oh. It's Shai Hulud time, baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's going to get eaten. Come on, eat some of those guys. Come on, Shai Hulud. You're supposed to be on my side. What? Not a single one? He was on it for like 10 minutes. All right. Wow. Okay, this is pretty nasty. This Harkonnen uh, ranged army is very scary. So we need to start tagging the range units if we can. Okay, so we've tagged a couple of range units. We've tagged them, but yeah, overall, not going super hot against them, man. The Fidekin are fighting hard, but he's got Landsrad Guard again. I don't know where he got those from. Okay, boys. Uh, let's just pillage it. Yeah, or try to, at least. Our Harkonnen militia are no joke. All right, let's run this guy away if we can. They both DM'd me to turn against you? Look at that. I'm not even strong. Okay, so we butchered a fair amount of units. Overall, went a little bit better for the Harkonnens, I would say, though. Um, we are going to need more stopping power to get through his defenses. The Harkonnens are not even... They're both DMing Nani Yori to turn against me. Uh, I just lost army to, uh, to uh, Harks. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. They're trying to politic against me. I'm not even that strong. Oh, so evil. All right, so we need water in this region. Let's get the water. Uh, let's go ahead and trade Plascrete to get spaceship parts. And we'll be back in greater numbers. I almost feel like a Zerg is just better. You know? Have I checked out the... Uh... Yeah, the Greasos with 400 speed? I heard about that. Yeah, it's pretty meme. All right, so we can grab that. Um, probably get some upgrades for the Fidekin now, maybe. Yeah, we're going to get there eventually. The Fremen, the Fremen, this is just like the books. It's just like the books. Fremen's losing for 80 years. Then we get you. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta lean into the role play a little bit. All right, so we got the troopers coming out. Um, we don't need any airships yet. We're getting like, we're gonna get more military tech though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be scary eventually for them. All right, so upgrades, um, power on the first attack. Interesting. Yeah, let's keep going. We got to keep the aggression up, you know. So let's go ahead. Yes, now we can get all the military buildings. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and get a, uh, the cost reduction for them. Uh, the airship will join us in 10 years from the gifts. Do we have any inciting to do? Not at the moment. Um, Plascrete down here could be good. Can we incite rebellions? We can. Perfect. So we need to incite rebellions, and then we attack. That's when we can really, really get work done. That's that's just how it goes in the books. The Fremen basically are scattered and just getting oppressed for, like, ages. And then, eventually, you know, Maudib comes along, and the Fremen are like, wait, we can unify and just kick some butt? Oh, all right. That's cool. Um, all right. We want to get water here. We have all that. Let's just get a little money building. And, um, oh, dude, no, no, no. I can't. I can't do that. I can't take that. Um, we see Sardaukar sitting on the other side. Um, this region is pillaged, so we can't really do much with that. This region is a Plascrete factory. So let's just take our army down. Why can we not make more? Oh, we're at our, our cap, huh? I don't know if the Fidekin can win this fight. I don't know if they can. Yeah, I'm going to go get the Renegade base, but I'm not sure if we can win it. Oh, Baron Chungus, you're not getting the peace. The Fremen are... Uh, dude, if that worm had eaten that Harkonnen army, though, we would have been pretty jolly at that point. But alas, it did not happen. All right. Dude, five militia! They're all heavy, just jacked boys. Oh, my God. All right, we, we need to get more. More? All right, let's come down here. Sp spamming Fidekin is actually not bad. Um, all right, so Judge of the Council. I'm, I'm probably going to get the gear regulations voted on me, which is going to suck. Especially if they think I'm, like, public enemy number one, which I'm not. Fremen are definitely not that strong. All right, so we want to get a supply drop here, too. Cool. Looking good. And uh, do we want to get any industries here? That gives us Plascrete production plus 15, which isn't terrible, but I think we can save up for something better. Main base is building out, and uh, 
Yeah. We're getting it, man. Yeah, Carino, Carino, he said he's trying a new strategy, though, so I'm not, like, super stressed about it. Man, the supplies are killing me here, Smalls. I, I, am, uh, I am suffering. The supplies. I actually am probably going to have to run here back to my territory or else I'm going to lose these units. Yeah. I only have 11 water. Jeez. Okay. Let's just, like, slap down some basic water buildings, like dew collectors and stuff. Okay. If we get them back there quickly, we might be able to finish them off. Let's go back to the base and um, get some skirmishers and some warriors. We can get an infiltrator. I need to I need to solve this water problem, man. It is not good. All right, so we got that here. Do we have water in this region? We do. And the main base. Now we can get the barracks, which is going to give us um, a multitude of buffs. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get back there in time. All right, let's try and get back there before those units respawn. It's got to be tight. I think they'll respawn just before I get there. Come on. Harks are coming. I don't know where. I can worm drop them. Are they moving through here? I think they're trying to trying to do some funny funny business here. All right, let's see. If they move here, I'm gonna drop a worm call. Yeah, because I'm gonna need it. And let's get you and just go a little bit wider here. Harkonnen's thinking about coming over here, so we're gonna drop a worm in case they try. Um, I could be in danger of losing a base here. Looks like they're being raided up in the north. We need the ship parts here, though. That's why I'm doing it. And uh, let's just... Yeah, I got gear regulated. I And there's no way I can do anything about that either. All right, so supply drop. Uh, we're going to lose this village, probably. I don't see us holding that. Not with the supply drop. That's going to be on us here. Um, scavenger teams. Our militia are jacked, and we do have a turret. So there is that chance that it goes okay. Let's gather you guys here. Man, this renegade base is hard to kill. It is not going quietly here. Okay. How are we looking here? Are we going to kill this? Or are we going to finally get that renegade down? Why is he so tanky? Oh my god. All right. Let's go do a little bit of, you know, poking here. And disassemble the renegade base. Oh, there's still another one there. Oh my god. Okay, let's pull the Harkonnens back. We're going to need a missile turret here. Um, let's set that up, like, right here. little fun, cheesy strategy you can do. All right. It doesn't really matter if you lose bases as Fremen, though. You can reclaim them pretty easily. Um, it's still still a bit of a disruption, of course, but... You know. It could be worse, is all I'm saying. All right, let's do that. And we took that down, which is awesome. And the turret is coming, so let's get our demolisher unit to do this. And then we cancel that. And then we rebuild it. And maybe, maybe we can fight them off here? Once we get all these units with the Fremen gear sabotage. Um, okay, this is not good. We're being attacked on several fronts. Ay ay ay. I wanted to be homies, but yeah, now I think they think I'm a bigger threat than I am. So we're going to heal and then we're going to ride our worm in. Um, why are we getting siege incentives here? I guess we wanted to get the main base, so we go down this way next. Alright. So do we have Idli Ikarab? We do not. Um, this is not good here. The, uh, the Carino is pushing us back. Let's go ahead and get this. Get two heavy militia and get a turret here as well. We're being attacked on two fronts. And Fremen are actually considered one of the weaker factions. So if I'm getting teamed on, I'm going to have a hard time, I think. Um, Nani Yori might help me out. Looks like the Harkonnens are leaving. So, you know, hey, nothing really that bad happened. We lost maybe one building for that. And is he going to keep pushing? All right. I could take peace with the Harkonnens for now. Let's, uh, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to switch my focus on to the House Carino. Because Harkonnens don't have, like, as easy of win cons. So I'm feeling like we'll be okay. Are they going to take it? Oh, decline. Okay, that's fine. We're going to worm over here and kill this uh, Sardaukar army, though, right now. Or at least try to. I don't know if we can worm. We'll have to figure out how to worm here. Um, regions that we can take. Yeah, we have a lot. Oh, and they actually wanted the non-aggression pact? Oh, money? No, thank you. Okay. We're good, thanks. We will continue fighting then. And, uh, yeah, let's worm up here. Yeah, it's not pretty, but we're gonna get there. Okay, they're pillaging now. So being surrounded on two sides. I could try and kill their base, absolutely. That's that's partially why I was getting siege incentives. Alright, so let's go counter intel to make sure we're not getting trolled by agents and whatnot. Um, our water is kind of low. The pillage is in full effect. And our worm should be arriving shortly. Where is that worm? Oh, he had to go like all the way around. Jeez. Okay, incite rebellion on troop. Uh, we don't have enough intel. That sucks. Okay. We trust you, 
Can we get there in time before the pillage? I don't know. We're going to try. And it's good we're over here because then we can grab these two bases. Uh, come on, get there before the pillage. Come on. Oh, they got the pillage off. All right. So we're going to hunt these guys down. All right. Can we kill a couple of these Sardaukars? They're fleeing. Uh, nope, not worth it. We're going to pull back to the base. And then we are going to cut this listening post since we don't really care too much about politics. Uh, slap down a turret here. How are we doing on ship parts? We're almost getting to our big ship. We're getting close to it. Uh, no peace with the Baron. And yeah, we need to get all of our other military buildings here. We can get some missile mobile turrets now. Mobile turrets will counter the uh, enemy air forces. We will help if we so let's can. grab that. Yeah, we're going to go after the Imperial base, I think. We got to push them off our borders. Harkonnens um, are... Let's see how the, everyone's looking on Chome. Holy shit, Ekaz popping off on Chome hard. Hey, uh, Ekaz. Yeah, he's he's trying to uh, trying to politic now, maybe. We'll see. Could be fun. Mobile turrets are on the way. We have siege incentives. Um, I have nothing to really vote on, so we're just going to do loss of rights and try and get that going. All, so he's saying he's trying to get people to look at something. I'm not sure what. The main base is being guarded, but the funny part is we can always worm across and snipe the other Imperial base. We could just like worm. Oh, but there's mountains and stuff. I don't know, actually. We're going to have to explore the options. All right. So pulling across, and let's get some heavy militia here, and uh, let's get a wind trap. Although military factory probably going to be pretty big for us. In the main base, we should be able to get more military tech soon. God, not having shuttles is so strange. Um, let's get water first, because water is life here on Arrakis. And we are at 10 water, which is not good. Does this region have water? It does not, but it has three, but we want to get that. So let's cut this building. Get this. We can't really, like, uh, fight the army head up. It's definitely going to kick our butts if we try. Um, but we do grab some fancy regions back there. Our boys are kind of tanky. Let's go to our sieges and start getting some unique techs. So uh, we want to get Master Knife Makers. That gives our units 10% power, which is really good. Uh, we should be able to get it soon. Yeah, the Imperial base, with if we get the uh, Sabotage, we should be able to kill that pretty quickly, actually. All right, so coming up soon. And um, how are we doing in terms of the uh, base? Defense breaches requires what? Landsrad standing? That's right. So we can go down there. Throw one on you. Harkonnen's probably going to try and assassinate us, I think. Where's his main base? It's over there. We, how can we worm in? It's on cliffs. That's unfortunate. All right. So we need to get I Idli a Karab. It's very good. Very, very good. All right. So let's go supervise these spice fields and supervise these spice fields. This base is super vulnerable, though. Like, if he leaves for a second to go fight something, I can I can go pretty bananas. All right, can we have, like let's explore the worming options here? I'm just gonna kind of see what this looks like. Yeah, we can't really worm up on him, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to go in the hard way um, to deal with the. Yeah, we need to do area damage received. We'll grab that. Okay, that's not working. And nice. So that gives us, our units are jacked as hell now, like for sure. They're going to be very strong. We'll just spam out warriors. And um, yeah, we see them chilling here. We could do a main base dive, but the counterattack would be pretty ruthless. We're, we would definitely have problems with it. All right, take the free military tech. Desert Trekkers is on the way. We see Ekaz coming up north. I'm going to try and politic with Ekaz a little bit. And be homies with Nani Yori. Age of Empires homies unite. We need to. Right now. And yeah, I know I can get the water at the at the uh, at the sieges. I'm gonna get that soon. I'm just evaluating to make sure I already have water in most of the regions that it's significant in. Um, not in this one actually. Okay. Uh security. Asking why, and I'm like security. Yes, so we can all be secret and safe together. Uh, manpower production or training slots? Um, probably training slots. It's going to be good. Chome is getting pretty crazy. He wants a non-aggression with me. Uh-uh, ain't going to happen. We probably got to keep Carino in check. Getting uh, getting Ekaz. Oh, you sweet summer child. We'll have to see how this all goes. All right. So where is the Harkonnen army? I'm just going to let this sit here for a moment. 
That main base needs to die though, 100%. Um, up here, um, we want to get the Plasteel special region. We'll see if they're actually fighting. Harkonnens are not our friends. They took, they didn't take the non-aggression, so we could try and punish them for that. I don't know how that's going to go. They could have the toxic vapors. A decoy thumper is going down. Interesting. All right. So wow, Harkonnens have gone really, really far into the shadow realm. What's, uh, Mr. Emperor? What's with the introduction <laughs> introduction zone? All right. You guys ready for some fremen scheming? That's probably going to fail horribly. We're going to grab the special region, by the way. And um, what does this one do? Is this the um, Plascrete? Nah, it's all right, I guess. Better than nothing. We need to spend our authority as we get it, right? So, your military bases. And um, that is going, that is going. It's been pillaged. I think, uh, let's see. Yeah, taking non-aggression packs with Fremen is risky because they um, they can't get out of them easily. You know what I'm saying? And I'm almost ready to go kill someone's main base if we can get like a good worm angle on it. Okay, so this says for water here, so let's grab this. I'm getting dangerously close to 20k, which means I need to chill the hell out and start uh, attacking the Harkonnens probably. The Emperor is chilling. Um, is he building? He doesn't have too many special regions, so I'm not too stressed about it. Okay, Harkonnens are nearby. Let's take the Shai Hulud party bus and go all the way down here. All aboard the party bus, baby! Let's go! Yeah, I do need some armor shredding. It's true. I'll get some when I go for the main bases. Uh, 100%. Alright, so now we want the military factory. Do we have enough? We don't. Okay, it's fine. We already have a ton of extra military power. Look at that. The Shai Hulud Express, baby! Let's go! Yes. Yes. Give me this region. Where is he even going? I forgot where I dropped it. Alright. Oh! <laughs> The huge Fremen Dread Legion just emerging from the shadows. I love it. That's so cool. The flavor of that is just so rad, you know. Harkonnens are already here, which is great. I'm happy to fight them out here. Uh, all right, let's liberate this. Oh, you're back for round two, are you? All right, let's fight them away from their goodies. Have you hold here and then do the gear sabotage here. And then we need to get you on you, you on you. And most of the range units are shut down. Let's do scavenger teams here to get money based on kills. Let's move our own units around. And uh, man, we are butchering the Harkonnens, just like the books, see? It all bounces out. We need to let him kill a couple units to go below the uh, threshold right now. Oh my god, talk about a slaughter. That was a slaughter. All right, so now um, we need to continue our old uh, push here. Is there a worm in this region? I don't see it. No, Harkonnens are coming back for round two, baby. So Diplomatic Congress, nothing here that's significant to us. So let's go down here and take this base. We can leave you and leave you and leave you as well. The Fremen finally found their groove. Am I getting attacked by Carino? Doesn't look like it. Great. And um, we will use the supply drop here. We have a couple of you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and do the supply drop and get it back off cooldown here. Worm drop. Arrakis is our home. Yeah, we just butchered those guys too. Man, our da our DPS is pretty nuts right now. All right, so we are going to go ahead and not take these regions because that's going to put us over 20k. Are is Ekaz betraying us for real? Wow, I'm surprised I'm surprised about that, actually. Weren't we just in a non-aggression? Oh, he's going to get betrayer, uh, the traitor. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take both these bases to slow the Harkonnen roll. I, I, have to, I have to admit, it wasn't on my bingo cards to get betrayed by Ekaz, you know. I'm literally helping him out, but I guess uh, that in a way that's not the worst. So let's get this. And are they? <laughs> are you guys 3v1 me? What is this treachery, bro? All right, we're going to have to come back. What is this haggard shit? All right, so we're going to have to ride the worm back and hope, hope our shit doesn't die. Because they're like all up in our base. <laughs> yes, look at that. Oh, no. It's kill the streamer time. It's my least favorite. All right, so we're going to try and decap these bases. Um, we need to get most of the armies back, though, because, I mean, they're not going to kill my main base, but it's going to be um, ugly for sure. All right, so let's get up here. Look at that. Both of them at the same time. The The coordination is, is, is palpable. They for sure were scheming, I think. All right, so we're going to get a thumper and take our army back. 
Um, where do we even go? I guess we just go here and sweep our way through. Look at this shit, dude. They're at my main base. What is this? Why this evil? Okay, they're not that strong at the moment, though. Um, what are you, why are you acting like you're my friend now? Dude, you're pillaging my bases. All right, we're going to push these guys off, and uh, hopefully the Harkonnens, uh, we can stop them all from getting the goodies. We need to delete some units now to get below the supply cap. Um, otherwise, our units are going to suck. All right. So great. So we chase them off there. So let's keep butchering all their units. Um, let's do that. Kill the champion. And wow, I, I, I have to admit, I did not expect to get 3v1 like that. Well, 2v1 technically, because I attacked the Harkonnens. We only ended up taking one base from the Harks. So I have to play very defensively here now. I, I don't know when the evil is going to be back to wreak havoc on me. Uh, water in this region is what? Three? Yeah, we need water. Um, water here. Let's get you. And uh, yeah, we push them off here. I kind of feel as if I need to just go after these bad boys now. All right, so let's drop the turrets. Those will blast those flyers. You guys are going to see they're really good, actually. They do a ton of damage. So the um, the flyers are going to get bashed. Let's go ahead and peel. Yeah, one flyer down, two flyers down. Oh, and the siege drones misplayed. Okay, I can actually probably kill the uh, kill Carino or at least kill one of their bases now. Yeah, we're going to chase both these siege drones down. Peace for now. Dude, what is this? This is witchcraft. All right, we're not going to get that. I need to just go bananas on this player over here. All right, so we need to get the... Um, oh, my God, he's using the rocket strikes. Wow, he's really, really bloodthirsty. All right, so we just, like... It doesn't do much if we just run over here. Um, how are we doing on authority? Is anybody close to us? We don't want to get to 20K, that's for sure. So we're full out on military. Um, let's go ahead and get the, um, the siege network to make sure we don't get assassinated. Oh, yeah, these Imperials are going to get shy looted here in a minute. There, there's going to be... Once I have enough to do this... Uh, we are definitely going to shy halute him. Okay, so that looks fine. That region is good. Built out. Built out. Um, up here, do we have water? We do. So let's just go ahead and get a data center. Throw in a couple militia there. The, the missile strike is still going strong. Uh, we can build more in sieges. So let's go ahead and get the underwater wells for the, um, for the water, as you would expect it to do. It's around here somewhere. Knowledge per... There it is. 20 water. All right. Here we go, man. Where's Smeagol when you need him? Well, you know, we're good. We we're chilling. We just need to get the um, the big nasty intel, if possible. What's this region, anyways? Plaskrete? Dude. Enemies upon enemies. I would have liked to have had a big, big kind of push against the Harkonnens there, but I got foiled pretty hard. All right, let's get the free eco here. Um, we're going to get the sand diplomats. We now have siege incentives, so we can kill bases super quickly if we have the um, if we have the final tech. We're getting 17 intel a minute here, which is okay. Not amazing. Let's see if we can go find grab any scraps laying around. I'm just going to play very cautiously now. Um, Harkonnens are trying to. What do you... is he trying to buy an agent back from me? That means he's spying on me. All right, so we need to do that and be careful. I I, I could easily get assassinated here. Oh, the Carino started a construction of a nuclear silo? What? Yeah, man, look at that. Okay, I respect that. That's cool. Right, let's just grab all these. And that's been, I don't know why it's like pinging me, as if it's been investigated. Uh, this siege here, do we have enough plasteel to do anything fun? Uh, what do we want to get? Solari production is never bad. I have not been paying attention to our spice, that's for sure. I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, incite rebellions on this. Yes. Mr. Emperor. He's he's trying to be buddies. I'm literally sandwiched. My base is literally a giant dong going in the middle of all them. Why do you have a nuclear weapon, he's asking? That's really funny. All right, so we got some money there. Good. Since we have the, uh, the knowledge we need, we do not for that. Um, yeah, we should have more intel, though. It's plus 23. And the siege incentives, uh, defense breaches will make it very squishy. I'm pretty sure we can steamroll this this army if we get a good angle on them. That's what it's going to come down to. Um, yeah, we want some more of these. And let's go ahead and take you. Delete this. And we can get another one of these. Get some upgrades for them. Armor destruction and um, area damage. And then we want to pass this to make it so... Um... Wow, we actually have a hell of a lot of influence right now. It's funny. 
This makes it so when people uh, have agents assigned to you, the odds of them being captured are really high. Listening. All right. Let's bring you down here. Uh, let's go here and here so you don't die in the desert. And Plasteel. Main base is pretty much pimped out. Um, we can take the uh, knowledge and hegemony gains. It's pretty good, but this gives us two operational slots. Oh, man. I think we need the, the knowledge and the hedge gains in case we want to um, win the game on hedge. I think that's very important. Harkonnens are battling ECADs. That's good. If you send me... Yeah. I was thinking of maybe trying some sort of a sneaky non-aggression or something, but I think for now we're fine. All right, so we got that siege. Um, this siege here has the master knife maker. This one down here we have not started trading with. A little bit of a lapse in micro on my part. Yes. This one we haven't traded with either. And this one, we can build something. All right. So what does that give us? Special region resources. Let's just go ahead and take the intel per neutral village nearby, which is like none, and knowledge per positive water. Yeah, that's a good trait. Listening. All right. So we're going to we're gonna experiment here. Is it time to move? For this, we really can't afford too many upgrades. Oh, water regulations is what's... Is that hurting us? Yeah, it is. It's hurting us right now. That's what you get for backstabbing me. He's he's saying like the Harks rolled you, but you just you just betrayed me. I was killing the Harks. Um, all right, so we need to get the main base defense breaches. I was killing them until you backstabbed me. <laughs> we have to let them know. All right, so that's supported good. So now there's rebellions in everybody's lands. Uh, there should be two rebellions per base. So he's gonna have to leave. My desert, my Iraq is my dune. Oh, I love the role playing. It's good. All right. Um, looking around. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. Can we not worm down there? I think. Yeah, we, we unfortunately it doesn't look like we can worm down there. Let's see if we can do this. OK, perfect. This is exactly what we want. Because when we pop out of the worm, our army does 50% more damage. So we just pop up on them here. Oh, and right as they're leaving, too. How fortunate is that? Oh, <laughs> here it comes. Let's go deploy our turrets. And this is where it gets real, becomes a real party. So we need to just dive. Whoa, my units are stuck in the base. What is this? All right, so get on those range units. Chase them down. All right, boys, let's party. We need to get on the range units. Uh, it's like an AI microing here. It's pretty funny. Just like the way he's, they're moving their units. All right, so we need to get you. Um, Kronos will be in range soon. I have no idea how this fight's going. Are my units like not targeting? It's like weird. They're kind of targeting, but it seems like they're not in a way. It's like the glitchiest movement I've seen like ever. This is so weird. All right, so the turret is shooting at Kronos. Uh, let's do a supply drop here. Make some more Fideken. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep the pressure on. Even if we lose this fight, I think it's, it's, it's going okay. We're killing a fair amount of units. All right, we need to kill the Sardaukar here. Let's kill these Sardaukar. Oh, we took down Kronos with our missile turrets. Oh. That's big. That's some like spastic movement. I don't know what my opponent was doing, like spam, spam clicking in every direction, I suppose. All right, let's get our big ship back. We don't want to lose it. And uh, do we have enemies in our territory? No, we just have supplies being lost. And now we do this. And it's time for the defense breaches. All right. Oh, yes. Did Carino disconnect? When did they disconnect? Oh, shit. Hang on, let's, let's pause and see if they can come back. We've had Carino um, disconnect twice. To be completely honest, that fight would have gone terribly for a player too. I would have just steamrolled their army. So it doesn't make any difference really, but let's see if they can get back. Can you get back in? Let's see. I was going to say the way that his army was moving was very spastic. Yes. Yes. Like I, that army would have gotten crushed really, really hard. Uh, Ducky, gonna see if he can get back in. All right, all right. Seeing if he'll come back. We should be able to drag this base down now, though, which is gonna be a huge boon for us. That'll give us a lot. We're at 20k hedge right now, like just passively almost. It's pretty wild. Uh, waiting to see what Ducky Dragon says. Uh, no, no problem. Can you recon now? He says his Wi-Fi connected. Come on, gamers. You guys need to stop using Wi-Fi. You know? 
you got to hardwire that shit in, man. That's the power gaming way, unless you're in a college dorm, and then, you know, they obviously don't give you a choice. But, yeah, so we're going to deal a shit ton of damage here. Ally units losing supply, but should be fine. You should be able to reconnect, unless it's dead still. Shall we continue? If that's the case, I'm just going to have to squash Carino. I'm just going to have to kill him and then, um, you know, go from there. Yeah, Wi-Fi wi -Fi is definitely not, not the way. Dude, those Renegades are jacked. The Carino players are cursed tonight. Okay, so we continue then. So we shall continue. Shame. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to reconnect. Um, let me see if the players are ready. The Fremen, the Fremen are going to get try and get real aggro here. His other, his other base is right here, so we can definitely get there. All right, so we're going to take down this base. Let's uh, snipe these units, and uh, we can get these turrets back and retreat them. We have to do this. The AI actually doing a pretty good job of defending itself here. Yeah, so we're going to need one more wave of pressure to take that down, for sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Looking cool, man. We're being raided down here. Hopefully our Chad Militia can hold it back. We're going to pull back, and our big mothership needs to get the armor destruction. Which will be nice, and we'll heal up the main base, and that Imperial base should be ours next. Alright, so we need to grab more territory. Um, yeah, so we're just going to grab this. At this point, we just grab whatever the hell we can. Uh, I'm anti Harkonnen until I get that spice field back. I'm just going to let them fight. Uh, I need to deal with AI. They cheat. If the AI is left alone, it's actually stronger than a player sometimes because it just cheats on Chom. Like teleports itself to the future. Um, all right. So what do we want to get here? Thumper production. Yes. Good, good. So that siege is good. We have a couple that we're befriending here. And we're going to take this. Dune governorship is up. Shit, somebody gonna get elected a uh, governor? That would be really funny, actually. All right. Let's get some warriors. Take the special region, because why the hell not? We'll take that spice field down there, too, while we're at it. This is gonna put us in a situation where we maybe get 3v1'd. Um, Siege network is up. Good. So assassinating us now is gonna be very hard. And now we go for the... Um, yeah, for the tech there. You can see they're pushing us here. So we need to gather up and go for the main base snipe in a second, if we can. So let's get you here. Fremen don't have any like crazy tricks for like defending their lands. Yeah, except riding around on the giant sandworm. Nanny Ori is trying to... They want money? Bro, I'm so broke. I can't afford to give you anything, sadly. Alright, so that looks fine. Is there any regions that are underdeveloped here? Uh, this one could have a little something something, perhaps. Manpower looks adequate. Research hubs, I think at this point our research is good enough. Alright, so let's gather up. And um, truce has ended. The Harkonnens have ended their truce with me. And now they're coming to party. Yeah, so this is where it's going to get hard. Um, yeah, so I'll accept this now. Sure, why not? Because I need Nanny's help to fight off the Harkonnens. We're going to run down there. And um, they're trying to liberate it. So we're going to go to the sand. Looks like they struggled over here. My missile turret was able to fend them off, so that's good. Yeah, this is the thing with Fremen, man. You get a lot of hedge, for sure. You can go kind of bananas on it. But we should be able to beat the Harkonnen army, I think, even just charging them. Um, governorship. Oh, my God. Carino's going to get guff. <laughs> Carino guff. I should vote Carino guff. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh, that's funny. Hang on. I'm going to vote Carino governor, so then everybody has to focus, focus them. That's my janky secret play that you guys are you guys are gonna learn here today. I don't know how this fight goes with the Harks here. Let's try it out. All right, let's deploy the turrets. Not that it matters too much. Uh, get you around the back and you diving into the back as well. So we need to tag all the machine gunners and then we can bully beat down their army. Yeah, perfect. All right, so it looks like we're winning. I wish I had scavenger teams for a little bit of money, but um, we need to get that Carino main base. All right. It's going after the missile turrets, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, we basically just traded range units, which is cute. But it looks like overall they might barely edge us out in this fight. But we do have this spaceship of Doom, and uh, more more guys are going to be on their way down soon. All right, so can we get these injured dudes? These missile turrets, unfortunately, were pretty much useless here, so we're going to run them away. Oh, he ran off the base. That buys us a ton of time. Nice. 
We killed all the range, so now our doom ship can just sit and shoot. Um, shit, that that base is being uh, harassed as well. Yeah, we're we're under a lot of pressure. Uh, all right, so what do we get here? Smoney building, and uh, yeah, that's what that's what's up. All right, so we chase off the Harkonnens. Uh, all right, I'm gonna tell Nanny now. We can fight Harks. Is it time to move? Uh, I just bashed army. Okay, I just like straight up can't afford these guys. They're so expensive. We're gonna have to get like a lower tier potato army. All right, so this region was what? Plascrete, so we need to get our water back, which is obviously gonna be big. But Look, it worked! Nice gift from our enemies. Okay. We kill him. <laughs> it worked! It worked! It bought me time! All right, now let's see if we can pull it off. <laughs> Yes, yes, my evil schemes. Uh, all gotta go, everyone. See, this is perfect. This is how you create friends. Just like in real life, you know? Um, you need to make, uh, you know, someone bigger and scarier than yourself. I hope the AI wins this. That would actually be really funny. All right, so I'm gonna go to the base here and try and take this down. Time to spam basic warriors, I know. Well, I, I can still make some Fidekin, thankfully. Um, all right. I have siege incentives, so I should be able to take down the base pretty quickly. Harks and everyone needs to go. We don't have that much time, but the, the thing is we can vote them off uh, in between, too. So let's get these warriors. Thumpers are on the way. Oh, I did not mean to build that. Do we have an extra spice field somewhere? Let's build a military base here. And um, down here, the water is getting going and looking good. All right. This is so funny. Who, who else is Team AI? I'm Team AI. I'm, I'm Team AI myself. You know, we're, I'm pulling for them. They're gonna have to come over here, or it's not gonna work. We're gonna die. Oh, this is so funny, dude. All right, so this building gives us a per military building, so we can go ahead and get the military factory there, which is basically gonna tank our economy, dude. Oh man, our we're just so poor. <laughs> All right. So we have one missile turret here. Um, we have a lot of warriors. That military building is gonna just crush my economy. Um, recruitment office and um, here, let's just get money buildings because we're just desperate. All right, hopefully the other players are coming. I, I might, how much did they win by? Oh, Carino would have gotten that without my help. Okay, so I don't feel so bad now if we lose. All right, so we're gonna drop a worm over here. That's going to trap the AI army in there. And then we're going to move in here and hopefully kill the base. Use supply drops. Use supply drops. I'm going to get this one base down for sure. Because they're going to try and move their army and they're going to get wormed. I have a lot of armor shredding. Let's move this turret over here. Nope, no. Just the turret, please. Thank you. Let's move it in range of Kronos and deploy it. Army on me. All right, so we're making progress as, as, as a family here. This is great, you know? Let's use the supply drop here, and um, I'm pretty close to getting the main base destruction one. Turret shooting here. Let's have you shoot this. Yes. It's mass artillery drones. Yeah, that's the usual. That is the usual, and they're still just holding this over my base here. I need to go, like, shut that shit down, like, right now, like, 10 minutes ago. All right, one Imperial base is going to go down. Um, we are now befriended here. So my troops are one command point cheaper. As far as options go, um, yeah, let's get the this bad boy. Listening. I don't have the destruction that I once had. All right, Fidekin, chase that thing down. Goodness gracious. And uh, let's get a turret here. All right, one down, one to go. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. All right, so let's get a bunch of basic warriors. Get the turret coming this way. The Harkonnens are running across. Isn't that funny how that kind of worked? Uh, I got one base. All right, outstanding. So we got the one base. I just feel I am so raggedy and haggard this game. This Fidekin should be able to solo this base too. I'm going to go try and grab that in the meantime with these guys while we heal up our main army. Um, the Harkonnens hopefully just move to the other Imperial base. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do loss of rights here. Oh, wait, hold on. All main bases suffer um, rebellion. Yeah, we want we want that. And actually, loss of rights is what I'm going to vote for. All right. So this is buying us a little bit of time. This Fidekin should be able to solo that. It's what they're literally designed to do. And uh, we're going to cruise. 
We want to get a non-aggression pact with the Harkonnens right now. So we can uh, so we can fight together. And that's really good. Because um, then he won't be able to turn on me as easily. You see what I'm saying? So this Fideken being an absolute chad. So let's do this, this, and this. Uh, all right. So we got the supply drop. And uh, vote loss of rights. A little bit laggy, unfortunately. Hopefully that will subside. All right. Gathering our Thumper squad. How far can we get? We can get pretty close to the main base, actually. Um, all right. So we need to vote loss of rights. Um, I am going to do that. So that will get rid of the governorship. And now we can get ready on the Thumper squad. Move over here. <sighs> Shit, the cliffs, the way the cliffs are designed, I didn't do the best movement. That's going to be unfortunate. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Not perfect, but we try. 13 days. I'm going for the main base. And let's get up here and uh, party if we can. We got the drones. So let's take down those OP drones. Absolute filth. And do this. And do the Fremen sabotage. And this is uh, this is good for us. We're going to farm money from the main base, too. All right. So just get one warrior there. Let's set up our turret here so it can kill that stupid plane. You take that guy down. And um, we should be able to get this. Let's open wings. Go hard. And this base is going to be taken by us. And we should be able to start on craft workshops soon. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna get going on the craft workshops now. That's 100% that's what we want. We have a bunch of special regions, I think. At least two or three. All right, so the main base is going ham, and now we need to cut this and get the craft workshop, which should be available to us in a moment. Okay, about to be ready. And the base, maybe we get it? Harkonnens are leaving. Classic traders, you know. And uh, let's get the craft workshop, and um, do we have any other special regions? We do. The good part is he's going to have to betray me to, um, let's kill these units first. All right, looking good. And uh, we can go ahead and get the craft workshop here. And looking good. Okay, governorship lost. That was really clutch because the loss of rights actually screwed the Harkonnens too. We're getting a lot of money from destroying this base as well. Um, nope, not going to take trades from them. That's cheating. I don't want the free resources. Okay, and um, turret going up there. Uh, I might need help still. I might need help. It's going to be tight. Harkonnens are waiting to attack us basically. So we need to do this thumper, and we need to do that. And I believe rebellions went down. Yeah, we got rebellions in their bases because of the... Uh... Oh, man. I might not get it. It's going to be tight. All right. Down they go. All right. So now let's head back to our base. Let's make some more Fideken. And warriors. Outstanding. And uh, I don't know if we're going to make it back with all of our army, unfortunately. This missile turret definitely isn't going to make it back. And uh, all right, so now we just need to try and win on hedge. Um, we got craft workshops on the way. We need to get militia here. Um, craft workshop here as well for the hegemony dub. Yep, army's not gonna make it. Hey, you know what? That was good. Yeah, Harks, uh, how'd the rebellions go there? Yeah, see, there's two rebellions in the Ekaz land. So I, and the Harks took a aggression or a non-aggression with me during that, which means I'm kind of cackling a little bit. Let's preserve the ruins. This Fideken is going to start just taking these territories up here. Well, I'm I'm the enemy now, obviously. I I, I respect that. You know, that's the case. Um, scavenger teams, and uh, that should be fine. <laughs> he's typing in direct. I'm not going to tell him. He's typing in direct chat. He's not paying attention. So the Harks aren't going to know that he wants to team up. Oh, that's so funny. Holy shit. All right. So we see to the Harkonnens break the pack they did. They did. Yeah, it's on now. All right, let's get some mobile turrets. Listening. Uh, all right, let's call in a worm sign here. I'm just going to do that preemptively because clearly they're uh, they're looking looking at that base like a piece of meat. And uh, over here, let's go ahead and get the money building because it still does matter at this point. Uh, what can we take here? Nothing. It's currently devastated, so we have good passive hedge. Uh, now I need to survive 2v1. Architectural surveys is up, though. Oh, I could base snipe. Can I worm over there? I need to explore the worm possibility. Because all main bases are taking more damage right now. Harkonnens are missing water. 
It's a risky, risky, risky exchange since I don't have the uh, the additional base damage thing. How long till I can get these? A couple days. Okay. And uh, let's get you. And yeah, you guys are ready to go, man. Missile turrets. Let's see what else can we get. Yeah, armor. Yeah, let's do that. Power is good. Barely hanging in there financially. I'm barely able to pay my taxes. Harkonnens are flying over to their base. Not sure what they're up to, but I do have the passive hedge in a lot of regions. I probably want to try and cheese the Harkonnens before, um, because they can't teleport into my base like I can to them. Agent escapes, so I could get assassinated here. That's definitely on the table. Um, yeah, and he lost he lost that, so let's incite rebellions on this. Have you grabbed this also? They made Shai Halud angry? I know they did. Special region here, though, is pretty sweet. If we can grab that, 335, yeah, that, that'll be really nice. All right, where's he going? For the Renegade base? All right, so we need to get in position to worm him. So we're going to go stand here, and then um, we can worm it if need be. Yeah, my army doesn't feel that strong, but it kind of is decent, I suppose. How long on that? Okay, so that's going to be really good if we can grab that. The Fidakins can solo bases, which is a really, really nice boon. Um, how many are here and here? It looks like it's the same strength. So he'll be able to solo that. And meanwhile, we just keep creeping closer to hedge and play defensively, right? Our military strength in terms of the raw damage output should be better than our foes, but I could be wrong. Um, faction eliminated Kareno, yes. Take that money. The Fidakin needs to go and take this guy down. Okay. What do we have right now? Architectural surveys. Yeah, so the main base sniping is... Um, let's go ahead and place a thumper here. Okay, I'm going to go test the waters with this and see like how far I can move. Ikaz is rolling up on us now. They're pretty far behind us in hedge, though. Water Cellars Union. So which one did we incite rebellion on? Yeah, this one. All right, so we're going to support that. Create rebellions in their lands. All right, this Chad Fidakin needs to... Ah, oh, shit, he's going to run out of supply. Damn shame. Okay, well, that's, that's too bad. I screwed that up. Listening. Been screwing that up all game, actually, to be honest. Uh, all right, so let's build a... Let's take him and him. And they can go and run here and here and start capturing territories. Do we have any near us? This Renegade base is kind of cute, but... Um, yeah, I think we can just run over there. Let's go chill here for a sec. I'm going to take a warrior there. I can play defensively here. Although, I am, my economy is kind of hemorrhaging a little bit. It ain't pretty, that's for sure. Um, missile turret is completed. This region, we can get a maintenance center. Isn't really necessary. Let's just get water. ECAS has gotten 20k hedge. Ooh, they're, they're taking a lot of the old bases there. Yeah. I got to put some respect on that. All right, let's go over there and capture this. Never finished investigating that. Um, ooh, a special region. All right, let's go get that. Yeah. We're, we're good. So we're going to keep our mothership here. And um, these guys are hustling. So they're going to go grab this one. And this special region's nice. We're going to try and get that real quick. Right from under the Harkonnen's nose. He might bring an army over here. I feel like a rat in the corner. I know. We've all, we've all been there. All right. So go this and this. No, go here. Yeah. All right. So we need to capture a base quickly. Two fat cats looking at me. I know. Well, oh, Ekaz is on Harkonnen's border. Interesting. So I might be able to just sneak out a win here real quick. If they're, like, fighting each other, that's huge. Because I'm going to get a ton of hedge right now. Ekaz is keeping him distracted. And um, we'll grab this. And then we grab that, I guess. Just the smaller region. Let's do the supply drop here so I don't run out of supplies again. A little bit of lag. Weird. Usually I've never had lag in this game, really. Our Conan army's flying over. Um, I don't know if we can win this fight. It's going to be pretty hard. But maybe we'll be able to get it before they get here. We'll see. Worst case, you know, it is what it is. Let's go grab that region. Uh, it's going to be a pitched fight for sure. I think he wins it, though. He's got a little bit more than me. And I have two missile turrets here, which aren't great. All right, so let's do this. Do a power debuff. Trying to grab that, keeping him off. Uh, but there's the combat drugs. Nasty, nasty. Okay, let's get on the machine gunners and push back to the machine gunners if we can. Yeah, there's no way we get that. That's a shame. All right, so let's go ahead and start making more Fidekin, more warriors. And uh, we need to just get ready to push another base here. Thankfully, we do kill a couple range units. That's nice. Our missile turret's kind of useless. 
Uh, how are the boys doing over here? Once again, supply is an issue. God damn. I, I used it in the fight. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Go for me. Come on, give it to me. Okay, now he's going to get that, which is good. Harkonnen stopped me. Well played. Very good play. My opponent's part there, but I think we're okay. I think we can just uh, grab this region over here. As far as tech goes, let's go ahead and do the... Um, I don't even know. Yeah, Arrakis is fine. I feel like there's going to be an assassination coming soon. That's going to give us this, and then we can grab that base too. Um, looking at base development here, we're okay. Our, we didn't have our whole army there, you know. That was that was always going to be a hard fight. Hey, Carson. Hey, Turin. Loving the Spice Wars content. When are you playing Smugglers next? I don't like playing Smugglers. I feel like they're just overpowered. So when I win with them, there's like no gratification for me, you know? It kind of just feels like I was cheating, you know? I don't know. It's my two cents. They're just so much stronger than the other factions, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but they just are so dirty. They can do everything. Every type of victory. Chome, politics, annihilation. Um... Their assassinating is really good too. Like they kind of just do everything, which feels bad to me. Um, all right, so he's got his supplies. Let's go ahead and do this and Fremen sabotage. Good. So we're looking pretty good, although we are at risk of losing. Um, the water in the middle is also an option to take. So homie's gonna try and the Fidekin's gonna try and get that. I don't know where Ekaz is gonna pop out, so I have to be ready to worm at any given moment. Um, all right, let's get some more warriors. Siege is friendly. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that's only in that territory. That's too bad. And then this one is going to give us... Um, Fidekin costs one less command point. It's pretty massive, actually. Yeah, I think we already have that one. All right, going after the range unit. We need to go stand on the sand somewhere so we can shy Halud um, wherever we need to. We almost have enough to grab the middle, which would probably secure our victory. Um... Yeah, we see Ekaz doing what I'm doing, trying to cannibalize the fallen um, base of Carino. Hopefully that Fidekin wins that fight over there. And uh, let's pull you guys down here. Okay. Um, random stuff we could do. That gives us Plasteel. We're going to be seeing Harkonnen aggression. I think we're fine here. Should be able to hold back those rebels. The time has come. Okay, Nani Ori's going to strike, but I don't know where. What politics are going? Do I have any Chome shares to sell? Yeah, let's sell some. Okay, Harkonnens are here with a big army. I feel like I can crush them now. I have my full force. So we can honestly just go grab the middle. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, I respect that. We probably need to try and crush the Harkonnen army real quick and then go kill the Ekaz. So we're going to pop up behind this army and just absolutely steamroll them. You guys are going to see the nasty power of Shai Halud here. That's my guess. Scavenger teams. Um, and then we need to go stabilize that base too. All right. So we pop up behind the Harkonnens, we gear sabotage them, and I think we win this fight, like, I think we get it, and then we can grab the middle, which might propel us to victory, that's being liberated, so that's going to be a problem. I don't know, maybe we don't win that this fight here, jeez, the Harkonnen militia, yeah, we proc to the militia, which is not good. We do have our mothership, yeah, no, no, we don't win it, the militia popped out, Ugh, man, I didn't even take that into account. Alright, do we keep fighting here? Probably not. Um, I think with the militia, there's six of them. It's just way too much. Scavenger teams. All right, so let's keep this going. Get back. We got to just pull back to our turret. We see the uh, big mothership on its way. We need those damn militia to turn around and go back to their base is what we need. So unfortunately, this area is going to be going to um, to the uh, Ikaz. They're going to be liberating that, which is going to set us back for sure. Harkonnens are way stronger than I expected. Although I should know that. I, I, I mean Harkonnen. I know how strong they are. Yeah, they, they, are, they can be very scary. All right, um... I'm going to try and force a non-aggression pact with myself. Let's see if we can slip that by. That's going to be really funny if we can. Okay, so the Harkonnen militia screwed up our plans. He's going for middle. What's his hedge at? 18? Okay, there's no threat from a hedge victory there. And Ekaz? Uh, we have a little bit of time left to try and stop Ekaz. But, like, yeah, the Thumpers, we're, we're limited on them for sure. Okay, so let's have you go watch. Do we have any spice down there we want to watch? Not really. Can we do anything here? Oh, the stupid mountain range is blocking us. This is why Fremen struggle. That worm, it's, uh, it's, it's, he's not able to reach it. <sighs> that sucks. All right, let's go over there. See if that helps. There's like a mountain pass. Okay, Harkonnen stuck middle. So that's pretty much off the table now. I'm at 28k, but I need to go over here and try and stop Ekaz from steamrolling me. Uh, missile turret. Heirs of Arrakis. I don't know why I even got that. That one sucks. I don't have any deep desert. I should be doing border defenses. 
All right, so moving over. Hmm, what regions can we grab? Imperial base. This is a special region with, if we can stop the Harkonnens even once, we can maybe do something here. Come on, Sandworm. I need you, I need you to do something good for us here. All right, so let's go up behind the Ekaz army. It's, we don't have a full army here, though. That's the problem, but I'm hoping my opponent will be kind of tattered. And, um, yeah, we need the mothership. They're wisely going after me, which is good. Maybe we win this fight? I don't know. I'm a little less confident after that last performance. Okay, we do get the damage buff, so we're starting to roll them over, and we lose control. Uh, we have some units here. Let's get some more Fideikin. Come down here to try and fight the Harkonnens, I guess. Or do we just go grab territory? I think we go grab territory. Yeah, let's do this and this. So how's this fight going here? If we lose this, we're we're in big trouble momentum-wise. Oh, I got the non-aggression pact with them! They didn't notice it! <laughs> Holy shit! I can't remember the last time I've seen that happen. The Fremen getting the Diplomatic Congress. Oh my god, that's really funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Alright, so they're going to leave now. They can get traitor against me if they want to, but... Oh, that's so funny. That vote went through. The little things, man. And the Harkonnens uh, decided to become traitors. So they have a... I have a, a bonus against them now. So I can just go attack them and hopefully, hopefully stop them. Okay, so let's get you to come down here and have our big mothership help out. We'll try and grab that base. Meanwhile, the rest of my troopers are going to uh, need to try and attempt to shut this down. Oh, that's so funny that that worked. That's hilarious. All right, let's get some water. Gather the boys. Come on, team. That Harkonnen army is no joke. It is no joke. And now we're going to try and get this region. I don't know if we have the staying power. Maybe the ship can help get it. We'll see. Uh, send a uh, some troopers over there. No, we need to try and focus on this Harkonnen fight here. Okay, looking good. Maybe they're going to get it, actually. All right, so that's good. We can grab that. He's decapping uh, uh, a, a super region. So we are going to gather what troopers we can. Gather up. And we don't have any thumpers. We would have to do hidden thumper, yeah. The problem with Fremen fighting without your thumper uh, push is that you lose 50% weapon strength. So it's pretty brutal. All right, so we're going to get another region here. Is this even worth fighting? I don't know if it is. Um, I don't think so. He's got it, you know. It, there's nothing we can do. So we're just going to chill. Maybe it'll make us a little bit less of a threat if we, uh, you know, if we're not rocking that. Um, all right. Kind of want to snipe somebody's main base. Ecaz are creeping up on us in Hedge, too. They're, they're not that far off. Okay, thumpers are on the way, hopefully. Do we have any hidden thumpers on the horizon? We don't have enough intel at this point. Okay, so we can't. We don't want to lose that, so we're going to try and actually hold this. Let's get a missile turret there. And that kind of counters what we just lost. The Harkonnens are coming to swarm us now. Oh, God, the thumpers, they take so long. They take so long. We don't need Plasteel. I should be switching all my stuff for um, intel buildings. That's actually not good. We have the raiders coming, although they might buy us a little bit of time. So we have the gear sabotage. We can't fly around like they can, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to stay in our territory. We got to make sure this doesn't die to these stupid raiders. Oh my god, that's really annoying. That's going to screw us up a little bit. Let's get scavenger teams. All right, so we need to replace Plasteel buildings with uh, Intel buildings. Probably going to be the idea. They're also cheaper on the upkeep. Oh, they're just pillaging it. That's actually uh, helpful because if it gets pillaged, that means the Harkonnens can't take it from us. It's going to be um, it's going to be devastated. So the the pro the pro plays. All right, let's get you get this, and get a intel building here. We're gonna have a thumper soonish, so we want to let those guys uh, pillage that. Okay, we're gonna try and incite rebellion here. I don't know where Ekaz is. Thankfully, we don't share a border. Okay, let's do a little supply drop. Pretty cute. And now they're going to go fight the raiders so we can swarm them and uh, hopefully have a good fight ourselves. Our supply isn't great, so yeah, we did get a little bit of supply, but... We need this pillage to go off. There we go. Okay, it's almost going off. Let's run back to our supply drop. Alright, so how are we looking? We are getting passive hedge from our workshops. Excellent. So it's been pillaged, which means the Harkonnens cannot take it. Uh, for a while, which is a super, super uh, funny interaction there. 
Let's take a Fideken and have him go solo some territories. We should have enough to grab um, one of these soon. This one has been just freed, so that one will be available any moment. Ekaz is creeping up on us. This region cannot be taken because it was freed, and Ekaz looks like they're rolling over now. All right, so Harks, yeah, they, they have the trader buff with me, but Ekaz is probably going to creep up north and try and push here, at which point we need to be ready to worm. We don't have enough of the decoy thumpers, and our eco is basically in the pits. All right, so let's try, like, try and not go in the negative in terms of Solari. Ay, ay, ay. We probably have to get some cheaper units. These guys are really expensive, too. All right, uh, yeah. So we need to use our army now. Am I going to have to play Kingmaker? Welcome to Harkonnen's band. That's how, that's literally what they do. All right, so we're going to try and force a rebellion here. That's the true Harkonnen experience, is playing Kingmaker. Okay, um, we don't have enough to worm. Decoy thumpers aren't on the table. Do we have any shares to sell? We, Strangely enough, we did, we did actually have some shares to sell, which is cool. So, yeah, currently we're not getting authority production. Um, Ekaz flew over there. Ekaz is going to grab this region, but it's been just freed, so he can't grab it yet. What can I possibly do here? Harkonnens, in many ways, will decide who wins this. If I can roll over the Harkonnen army, maybe. But, like... They have the militia here, right? Which are just nasty. Here comes the raiders here. So let's get the pitiful income building to try and uh, hold here. I could build an air force too, but they have a pretty expensive upkeep. Yeah. 21 a pop. We trust you, All right. Let's gather into the worm. So the militia are here. Ecas is going to grab the side region. Yeah. So that's going to bump them up. I still think I'm ahead of them though. Well enough. That it's not too much of an issue. Maybe I can still win. Uh, we had Fidekin going over there. We did to capture territories, but there's a renegade base there now, so we are not going to be able to do it. So Ekaz, uh, Ekaz getting side, getting side. Ay, 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 this is stressful. And this has a renegade. They all have renegade bases, so they can't be captured. This one is our, our, our play. Six days left. That's going to put Ekaz close to me, but not quite as high. Harkonnen's, though, keeping me honest, 100%. Um, do we have the... Hedge building, we do. God, I, what I would give to be positive in economy right now. All right, so that's going to create rebellions in their lands, in both of them. It should. Yeah, so you can see triple rebellions in Ekaz lands. I could go try and snipe the Harkonnen main base of Carthag, but um, that's going to take quite a bit of effort to get to. All right, so he's going to deal with that. Meanwhile, we uh, just grab territory, obviously. Grab whatever the hell we can. Does he have an airfield here and here? He only has one airfield. The main army just flew away, so I think we can just kill the airfield, honestly. Where is it? Um, which building is it? Uh, airfield is... Why can I not see it? Alright, let's just butcher this village first. And do this. Alright. And uh, do we have anything else we can do? Just lag. Oh, there's the airfield there. Damn. Come on, turrets. Uh-oh, hopefully there's no disconnect. I've never had this kind of lag in these games. This would be a really big blue ball if we if we had more disconnect here. You lads here. Um, is the stream still going? Yeah, stream looks good. Okay, something's moving. There they go. All right. Jesus, that was some serious lag right there. All right, steamroll the militia and then kill the airfields. Holy shit, this is laggy. Oh my god. Oh god, it's lagging so hard. I can't control anything. Oh god, okay, the airfield's dead, so no more reinforcements coming in, and now we're working on the other one. Okay, so we are uh, going after both. We're going to attempt to grab them, uh, grab them both. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, liberate this, and we're going to try and take the middle one. He's going to have to run back. Now we have the Fremen reinforcements coming out. Nice. Holy shit. That was messy as hell. Literally took all of our troops to do that. But the middle base we'll try and take. And uh, we can keep shooting at the big mothership here. Harkonnens are running back. They're going to probably get here before I'm able to take it. Ekaz is uh, chilling for sure. But we did kill the airfield, which is great. So let's kill all these buildings if possible. It's like the jankiest fights ever. Ekaz creeping up. All right. Oh, man. There's no way we're going to get it. There's no way. 
Yeah, he's gonna get there before we are able to do it. Ikaz, I have a proposition for you. Ik <laughs> it's pretty funny. There's no way we do this, right? No, he's too close. So we just destroy this building and then flee. Okay, so retreating. Uh, we have a decent army again. But once again, our army is in the pit, so we're basically going to be making warriors. Fremen Raiders doing it. I think they're making an evil alliance against me, guys. They're proposing a 2v1 of sorts. Okay. So how are we looking? Yeah, we're going to have a stack here. Thankfully, um, our Fremen Raiders are uh, holding them back, but that's that army is way scarier than ours. I mean, wasn't that what you guys were already doing? I kind of feel like it was. It was uh, trying to kill me here. All right, so we need to sneak a base somehow. Where can we sneak territory? There's some regions down here that maybe we could find a way to grab. Ooh, that's that's actually free now. So when I get within a thousand points of winning, I need to do a, a, a worm dive to go for this. Okay, so how are we looking here? Um, currently, we're just not even paying our spice taxes. Yeah, screw our spice taxes, dude. We're not, we're not paying it. Sorry, we're the Fremen. You know, we don't care. We trust you, Liet. Yes. All right, so we're nearby. Uh, the army sizes are set to max. We have faith. We're gonna be negative on money soon. We need to go fight the Harkonnens and get a, uh, a worm dive on we're them. Going. We could also go and like ninja the special region, which it would take them a minute to get to, but I need more hedge before that's possible. Soon we're gonna, uh, oh, but I'm not getting hedge from if I'm not paying the Spicing Guild bribe. Shit. So I'm going to lose on that. That's not good. I think I lose. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I lose. These two are... Uh, if if Ekaz is coming to roll me here, too. And I'm having a bad time. All right, so we're going to go here and try and worm our way over onto the Ekaz and see if we can stop them. But I think we are losing because we're not paying taxes, which means we're not getting hedge uh, for paying taxes, which is really bad. So, all right. Ekaz... Uh, Oh, for the love of God, give me the infrastructure control. Actually, no, it's not even that useful. All right, so let's drop a thumper. Let's do this. And uh, he's got his mothership here and everything, so he's probably going to beat me. But we have to try. We're going to have scavenger teams and Fremen sabotage. Dude, that worm found a way. Shihalud finds a way. All right, let's do this and scavenger teams. All right. Um, and meanwhile, we're getting backstabbed over here. So we're trying. Don't think it's going to go well. Live performances, okay, that's going down. No idea what that does, but uh, my front line is basically folding up here. So this is the champion, I need to snipe that thing. If I can kill that knight, that's gonna take away a lot of uh, hegemony here. Come on, snipe the champion. Champion snipe, that's gonna lower the, uh, the threshold. Yeah, there's no way I can fight them both. Not with my economy being what it is. Did that lower the hedge? Uh, Harks, we must stop him. I'm slowed for now. I have to pull a desperate last alliance with the Harkonnens. Where there's a worm, there's a way? I don't know about that. He's getting a... Uh, he, uh, he took one of mine. Get his regions. It looks like they're going to win. I think they're going to win. I think Ekaz is going to win. The Harkonnens need to go after them now. Because I'm slowed. I, I, don't, I can't even pay my taxes. Uh, we're gonna try and actually pay the taxes to get some hedge now. <laughs> I totally forgot about that, you know All right, so we're gonna have a thumper soon. Do we have enough for a decoy or hidden thumper? We do All right, so I could go for a main base attempt snipe, but where's the main base? It's probably really far down here, isn't it? Foliage? Mm, I could get really close to it. I don't have enough for the main base sabotage though, so that kind of hurts Are the hearts gonna decap the territory of uh, those bad boys? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we need to go just bash this. Is there someone still capping here? There is. All right. I think he gets it, though. Unless the hearts act really quickly, I think uh, Ikaz gets it. Or is he gonna is he gonna try and stop him? Because the hearts could still win if they keep bouncing back and forth and shutting down both of us. The Harkonnens could for sure win. Okay, we need to try and save this region at the very least. Because this, this region has been liberated pretty hard. Okay, so we're rolling here. I do have a little bit of passive hedge. I'm going to push this Harkonnen off. It looks like the Harkonnens are going for it. They're going for some fun business. 
All right, so now we're going to move down and we're going to go for the main base, Listening. which is going to be super haggard considering it's like half our army. Um, let's go top and top and um, is there any regions to grab? There's this one. All right. So let's go here. Let's get in the desert. I don't have a thumper at the moment. So we're going to try and grab a couple things. I will be able to pay my taxes here soon. Looks like they're on their way back. Um, I don't know where they're going to be coming from. But we're going to just try and grab a couple bases while we can. And uh, you guys, yeah, they're running across. All right, so let's grab this region. It's desperate, but we, we you do what you got to do. Harkonnens are decapping. So we're, oh, Ekaz lost their champion. Oh, Ekaz lost the champion that was holding all their hedge together. Oh, the deception. Oh, baby, we're back in it. Let's go. Let's go, man. We're back in it. Yeah, because it died in uh, my territory. Oh, that's huge. All right. Let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and get the um, the just money building, whatever. So now we're going to take a couple regions and jump up and hedge a bit. So that's good. And let's go ahead and get some manpower there now. Yes. And we can go ahead and get a turret to make it difficult. Now we take this region as well. Oh, man. He lost the champion. And the Harkonnens are attacking him too. It's perfect. That worked out so well. Holy shit. I thought I was dead, man. Um, do we have any special regions we can grab? No, unfortunately not. Oh, hold up. Actually, this one. Yeah, it's only 169 for that. So we need to go for that right now for the win. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and ride across on the worm. Shai Halud! Come on, baby. Let's go. Got to do our boy Maudib proud. Where is this? All right. So it's down here. And um, yes, we can literally worm right to it. Oh, all right. Let's fly over. Going for mid. Now they're now they're coming back at me. Ekaz is going for mid. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. All right. So let's pop out. Let's do this. Um, let's get rid of the decoy thumper. It's not very helpful here. We need supply drop actually. And we take this region and maybe we win. Holy shit. And we are going to be able to pay our taxes this time around. Uh, yeah, let's get you guys going. We don't have enough there. We just took this region. It's very beat up. They're running through the lands. We got this special region. It's going to jump us up pretty high. All right. Snipe the, snipe, snipe the anti-air. Oh, God. Okay. Incite rebellion on... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So if we pay, as long as we pay our taxes, I think we're fine. Our ship here is trying its best. It's kind of getting nuked a little bit, but we needed to buy some time for us. All right, so we got the special region. Let's uh, go ahead and get you guys. Let's run into the sand here. Our ship is getting popped. Oh, we got it! Yeah, baby! Didn't hear no bell. Let's go. Oh, my God. I thought I was dead, but then his champion died. That had all his hedge attached to it. Oh, Dude, Shai Hulud blessed this ravaged body. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe we got that. The worm flying across and grabbing that territory. That was it. That's right. Sand pirate knows. Yes. GG, dude. Still got it. Man, with Fremen, though, it always feels like you're fighting so hard. Desert power, I know. Your army falls off really hard late game. Well, Arena... That was tricky though, Nanny, because you had you had a what's it called? You had the game like really close, so the Harks turning on you was their best chance because you were about to win. But then your champion died, so it totally flipped everything. You know what I'm saying? It was just crazy. Wow, that was a game. That was a game. All right, guys. Yeah, but you know we we pushed our hedge a little bit too hard. Yeah, you were you were you played really well. You should definitely play in our tournaments. They're a lot of fun. Fear is the mind killer. Yeah, I know it's the the. Uh, I don't remember the exact quote off the top of my head. Something about obliteration and uh, all this stuff. Yeah, champion plus epic quest is very strong. Yeah, I had to. I tried to snipe your champion in the first fight. I think I got one of them, but you probably had two. God, I man, Fremen are so stressful, dude. Having that crappy ass economy, dude. Look at the Harkonnens, but that's because of rebellions. That doesn't really uh, mean a whole lot. Yeah, my economy was absolute shit. Ekaz was rich as hell. Oh my god. Them and the Harkonnens were definitely the financial tyrants that came. Yeah, we did kill the Emperor too. That's that's true. Yeah, we did our part. We did our part. 
All right, guys. Um, so that's going to be it for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed the Dune Spice Wars action. Um, tomorrow we have Age of Empires. And then uh, the day after that will be Thanksgiving. Um, so probably no Total War tournament then. But I'm thinking of doing a Total War tournament on um, Friday. So I'll be covering the patch. Uh, you know, patch 4.1 is cool and all, Vlad. But it's um, the meta is going to be pretty similar. I'm not like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot of things that I'm enjoying in Age of Empires. Like having dedicated servers and like, you know different things like that. Um, but yeah, I do plan on getting back to Total War. Don't worry, it's going to happen. That's right. How it's your nose. All right, guys. GG, well played. If you enjoyed the stream, do drop a like on the way out. Well played to my opponents. All of them were mighty champions tonight. Um, the Atreides had some problems, just like the book. So book accurate Atreides. Uh, I got to learn how to play them better. I I sucked with them. That was not good. But um, anyways, appreciate you all. See you next time. Tournament tomorrow. Going to be super fun at 12 noon Pacific Standard. And uh, that is it for tonight. Take care of yourselves.